Maiden's out here tooting, everybody. I mean, I'll just make my D and D character take the fall for all of my farts, for all of my tooting. Sorry, guys, that was in character. That's uh. If I ever make my own setting, if I ever make my own setting, elves don't fart. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be lore. It's good to, it's good to know. Yep. That raises it's a lot of... Uh, gods have decreed it. That raises a lot of biological questions about how... what yeah, some gastrointestinal gas 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 issues. Right and... <laughs> it's just, fine. It backpedals into, well, then they don't digest. They don't eat. They don't need to eat. They burp a lot. <laughs> and it's just like, your elves are effectively <laughs> immortal from the point of nutrition, and if anyone ever asks why you made that choice, you're like, it, it was a... Long working back process from that they don't yeah. fart. I just wanted them to not fart, and oh. then I thought about it. All right, so uh, hey everybody at home, welcome back to Night Nineteen. Hello. Welcome to that not minute fart. of uh, not me introducing you back into the game. Uh, apologies for my nose. I am still a little bit COVIDed, which is why we missed a game. That is the latest reason. Uh, but I'm, I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling pretty good overall. Uh, it is session 26 of Devil's Might Surrender, which, uh, I don't know, I just have a strong feeling that they're they're this close to surrendering. They're almost there. They're we'll the get way. there one day. We'll get them now! It's gonna be the last session, and they're finally surrendering. And the by final point, boss just taking... surrenders. <laughs> yeah. And by that point, we're not taking prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I haven't done this in a while, but I feel like doing it today because I want to know how well you guys remember what you're doing. So, I would like a recap from Cody! Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me one second as I try to remember the ending of, like, the stream before you this, so I know where we're that starting. You went back and watched I watched the last this. two scenes, I said! <laughs> <laughs> There's still stuff leading up to that stuff! What ended up, what ended up happening uh, the last time, which was around a month or more, more ago, um, <laughs> uh, we had just made our way away from uh, the uh the area where we had uh spoken with uh with briar um just getting away from those little yellow bastards he was holding on to us with um and uh getting into getting into our into our car and, and then taking off going off uh going off um, uh, further into into the uh into into the city into the um, uh, the area down south from where we had started i believe it was south was it south or where we're we going south i can't remember either way uh we were going in a direction uh downwards uh, upon uh finding further uh further options of going forward i believe fio uh had remembered something of the topography of the area uh so we were following uh the instructions of a little tootie girl um, and, <laughs> and, uh, we just needed to, we needed, we needed to make our, make our way through. We had, uh, found a, a nice little section of where some warehouses and other things were around that, uh, we ended up having, I believe, uh, a, a very, very brief encounter <laughs> with an enemy, uh, as they tried jumping on the car and we say no, um, we speed up, make him miss, and then completely lay waste him from the back of a vehicle <laughs> using several magic spells and guns. Um, it was absolutely amazing. We, we destroyed that fight. Um, we head a little bit further, further in, uh, and, uh, our, our wheels got sniped out by some asshole. Um, it turns out he wasn't that much of an asshole. It turns out he was a friend, but you know, it's a bit, bit of an asshole. He sniped out our wheels. Um, but the man showed up and uh, uh, started uh, started uh, asking lots of questions because you know he he knew he knew uh, he knew a, a certain a certain a certain uh, amount of us um, and uh, wanted to know why the hell uh, Emmanuel and uh, and Gino were with uh, with some some demons. Uh, they explained themselves. We went back to a hideout. Uh, had to walk there. I wonder why. Um, <laughs> Had to make our way back to a hideout to to speak with the the lady we had came here to to check up on. Uh, totally not Jolene. Um, 
and uh, whenever we were chatting with them, we heard we learned more about the the Order of the Sword, what they're doing around this area, uh, trying to figure out what exactly we're going to be doing with the with the spires. Got them all caught up with what we know of all of the different uh, anchors and whatnot, um, and uh, started trying to formulate some plans uh, as to as to how we're going to infiltrate the um, infiltrate the, infiltrate the uh, the area, infiltrate the place. Uh, there were some nice little scenes uh, that people need to go back and watch because I went back and watched them. They were really cute um, between between several several members of the group, and we eventually came up with the plan of giving ourselves over uh, to the Order of the Sword so we can get inside of the uh, uh, the uh, anchor that they seem to be guarding or they seem to be able to go around. Uh, apparently, they have made some sort of a deal with one of the demons that are there. Um, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to try to do a sneaky try to try to jump in uh, from the uh, uh, from the, the the ground up trying to be like no no we're totally your friends hey look a distraction and then uh, run our way up into the spire and hopefully lock the door behind us and then we're gonna backflip uh, behind the bad guys just snap their necks and save the day ooh I love that one <laughs> I would pay to hear that again. No. <laughs> <laughs> I probably left out a lot of things. I'm sorry. <laughs> it actually covered quite a quite an amount of stuff. Heck yeah. Yeah, you guys, uh, long and short of it is you met up with the remaining Knights of Ulyssia that were in the uh, St. Cheshire area. You found out that the anchor is on the Kenzo Peninsula a tiny peninsula that goes out into the bay, and that the way to it and area around it is guarded by the Order of the Sword, and that not so much that they have a deal with each other, but you had found out that um, most of the Knights of Ulysses in the area had been wiped out by a combination of the Order of the Sword and Lucifer. You found out that there's roughly a hundred soldiers to the Order of the Sword uh, that are there, including their uh, Supreme General Credo, who is the uh, main person that they're worried about. And that Lucifer, a demon that serves under uh, our big boy, uh, his, uh, has a way to get in and out of the anchor already. And not so much as made a deal with the Order, but seems to be willfully ignoring their presence. Ah, right, 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 right. The exact con like details of that, you don't exactly know yet, but you know that he does not seem to care that uh, they're down there. Your plan. I want. I want to hear it from you guys. You, does, does anyone want to try to remind me, like, what the specific plan is? Because I'm. I, so. I, I just have a feeling <laughs> going into today that someone's gonna know, <laughs> think it's different. So, we're gonna we're gonna have one of the Knights of Ulyssia, uh contact the Order of the Sword. And be like, hey, we're gonna give you these guys we have so that you can let us leave because we don't want to be here. They're gonna say lying. Um and they're gonna hand us over to them, and they're gonna be like, ooh, look, people of interest, let's completely forget about the other guys and never think about this again. And then once they uh, do their their strange little maneuver that's going to cause a distraction, we're definitely not gonna think twice about the people they planted inside of our base beforehand. Anyway. Well, was it not that we were gonna tell them we willingly left them because they're fucking no? Because they the, are the they dogmatic are Jedi was, or fucking they are awful. going out of their they're going out of the way to have a person contact the the Order of the Sword to let them know that we have these people. <laughs> I feel like, like I remember we talked about telling them we wanted to leave. We talked about that at least. That was definitely talked about. I do have that written down, and I remember that from doing the highlights. But heck the, yeah. the big thing I remember is this sniper boy is going to be the one contacting them about it. Is the big yeah? Thing. He's going to like I attach a that note to an arrow or something. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to be like, that here, these guys, is, we're going to leave. Yeah. That note is just just to remind you because I, I knew we had a month between games, maybe more. I can't remember exactly. Um, the 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 method there was uh, Vamos is the one firing the arrow, but it's from you guys, and yes, the, the Eric and Hayden have it right, that the idea is that you guys are like, this is a dire situation, we don't like how dogmatic they are, most of us are kind of demonic. Hey, we want to meet with you guys, and okay, you know, so meet up with you. We should, so they're gonna, they're gonna fire an arrow, they're gonna think that it's from us, though. Yeah, that's done already. Okay, well. alright. 
We need a bow so we can pretend to be good at arrows. <laughs> <laughs> they broke it. They broke our bow. I can't they believe broke them. Our <laughs> They're bitches. It Her makes sense. This gun fires arrows. <laughs> <coughs> you see, I just Dying. threw. I just threw oh the God. arrow as far as Jeez. I could. <laughs> can it just be like a flare gun? No, well, it was it's, like it's got an a arrow. note attached to it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, can, I can see now how that poses a problem. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look! Just give me, just give me a bow. It's fine. So I'll be like, like, yeah, I, I totally can use this. <laughs> you guys just fire an arrow with nothing else on it into their camp, and just wa Krita walks up to it, pulls it out of the ground. It's like, oh, deserters want to meet at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, but you guys had been informed that uh, the note stated a specific building that they the order would be able to land upon you'd be able to go meet with them meet with credo and then it was up to you to barter your way into the camp you guys have a uh long range walkie talkie that you can use to uh send a beep send a signal back to the others to be like do it do the attacking now distract them get them and they leave it up to you to decide when the best time to do that is yeah okay so we're not okay all right it's it's a little bit a little bit it's a little bit better of a plan. This is than why I, I wanted to spend a little bit of extra time on this, so the characters didn't go in all having a different idea of what just got talked about ten minutes ago. <laughs> Normally, I don't dote on things quite this much, but I just wanted to make sure everyone knew what all the working parts were. It's been a moment. Appreciate yes, it. It has been. I appreciate you. Where is? Let's get let's get less menacing music on for right now. No, no. Menace. You guys still had some time. You were informed that you would have to, uh, at your leisure, travel to the building, that um, you would be meeting Credo and whoever else he decides to show up in. Um, Me and Arden are getting are getting wheels. It's true, <laughs> you are getting wheels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we could probably assume by this point the wheels on the... Uh, Bus go round, <laughs> round, I, round. I, I literally had to fight not to do that. I literally had to fight not to do that in DMing cadence. <laughs> can assume at this point the wheels on the bus do go round and round, um, but not round and round in the way that you would have expected. Oh. <laughs> uh, but uh, sorry, do they go clockwise or counterclockwise? <laughs> I, we also wrap some chains around. We yeah. also wrap some chains around the tires, uh, as per Arden's request. Yes. <laughs> yeah. With that, you guys, uh, you have free reign. You can take things at your own pace. I release you. You are released. Well, luckily, luckily that, luckily that guy uh, knew how to help change tires. We did that very quickly. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I know nothing about cars. <laughs> You're, you're, you're getting there. You're reading that book, and it, uh, it's, it's, it's working. I, 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 can, I can almost, I can al I can almost believe you. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that we have these all uh, wrapped up and everything, we should go back to the car. Uh, well, let's uh, let's uh, go and see if everyone else is ready. Hi. Sure. Oh, luckily they're right over there. Uh, oh, what? Hey, what up? <laughs> Alright. I heard you talk about that whole thing. The camera frame just shits like. <laughs> yeah. Gino! What? Arm wrestle me. Fuck yeah, you're on. Do old. it! <laughs> What's happening here? Don't strain yourself too much, you'll toot. Shut the fuck up, Nicolo! I'll kick your ass! Gino's a little tired of losing arm wrestles. He's putting a style point in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck he you. Walks... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fuck you. No, Gino, no, walks... I... Gino walks up, Ooh. and as he does, uh, as he walks towards Fio, he slams his foot down on this uh, knocked over table on the side, and the uh, the, the trauma on the ground causes it to fly into the air, much like the uh, phone at the start of DMC3 just flips in the air, lands between the two of them, and he, without missing a beat, slams his arm down on it. <laughs> Do it. Roll your strength check, you bitch. <laughs> Roll your oh, strength. Pathetic strength check strength or athletic? Check. How we'll do strength uh, since this is a matter of just yeah. pure strength. It's not like you're running. Yeah. I don't know, Gino. <laughs> 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 yeah! 
Intense music begins to build in the background as both of you slam your elbows down on it. You look each other dramatically in the eye. A high contrast filter covers the screen. And then the moment your hands clasp together, we switch to a scene of Gino on the ground beside Fio. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this keep happening? <laughs> I don't Arn's understand. Like, Arn's like right behind Fio, just make a... <laughs> so she will slowly turn to look at him with the dis- why are you still on? Shut up! <laughs> Gino's arm is just disconnected from his body still in Theo's hand. <laughs> He's on a warpath today. Don't mess Am with I? Aiden. Aren't I always? No. Not, not at all. <laughs> She's gonna slow turn to Arden with just like single eyebrow raise. Feel. Arden. That's gross. You're gross. What? I'm gross. You're the one who farted. <laughs> You're the one who made the fart sound with your face, dummy. What? Yeah. Gino, did I make the fart noise? I go to help Gino up. <laughs> I don't understand. I just I can't. What is happening? Come on, Gino. Up, up, up we go. He's looking at his hands. <laughs> up we go, Gino. I need you to help me out. Brent, I need you to help me out. Well, oh, who stands up? See, Gino agrees. Uh huh. Mm hmm. When will you accept the fact that you toot? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, can't believe you did that, Emmanuel. Now you're blaming it on others. I'm blaming on your mouth fart. I'm blaming on your mouth child. fart sound on you. I'll do it again. <laughs> That's true. Where's the car? I don't know, you're Mr. Car Guy now. Kind of. Yeah, you're a car guy. Moved on was, from your romance magazines. He did pretty. Never. He did pretty good wrapping the <laughs> chains around the tires. Actually, it was it was actually very good. Oh, nice. Yes. I go to the car. What you want to go I'm back like... in the car and read? No, I put the tires in the car. Why not <laughs> on the car? Yeah, Why right. in I said the on. car? I said you on. said in. <laughs> you said in. It's yeah. the accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Marile! Yes, you're all done? All of you? Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, I was just so... it was just fun to watch. I could keep going. If uh if if all of you are ready, then we have uh the car ready forever. Oakley dokely. <clears throat> so Plan, go in, oh no, we're surrendering? We hate those <sighs> dang old nuts. Yep. Because they're just, they're just real Stinky. mean demon folk. Just, just, uh... I should probably not be wearing this, huh, when we go in there. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, I think I'll take this off. <laughs> he just take. he just starts taking it off. Just, uh... One last thing before we head out. He ah. turns toward Fionilla, Ma <coughs> Emmanuel, and Marile. The three of you, if you do not want to do this, you can sit out and okay, do I'll the attack here. with them. Okay. Wait, but Arden's going. Arden, None. Gino, and I can handle this if we if we need to. They they saw Gino earlier. They seem a lot a lot more interested in in him if if you the think three, the of, three you of us can to, take down Lucifer on our own? I <clears throat> That's not exactly what I'm saying. I'm just No, I I don't think we can. <sighs> That's what's Listen. probably gonna have to happen. I just heard a bunch of things that I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to hear. I can't remember the specifics of what it was, but I remember it was not something appropriate for someone my age. <laughs> now get in the van. I have no point. 
I get in the well, you heard him. You what? Uh, as as long as the three of you are are fine with it, then. Mm. I thought I was coming anyway. That was the plan. Yes, I was just giving everyone the option if they wanted to. But. Well, then. But uh, they are right. There's no way we can take on Lucifer without the three of you. Yeah, that'd be stupid. And, like, while I'm scared of those guys, not when I'm with all of you. Mm. And, I mean, we can take them. The two of you and Gino and, honestly, Arden are going to be the ones most uh, in danger from these people. And Emmanuel, you're going to have to not uh, not use that, that ring so uh, so out in uh, readily. Uh, That's how I get my cat. For the, I, I know that we can wait until until the uh, until the, 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 the time of surprise. It'll be so cool whenever the, it comes out and the, the heat of the moment. It's in my hands. Okay, all right. <laughs> That's how I heard the things I wasn't supposed to hear. Uh, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that in the car. By the way, I can hear what my cat hears. Well, if I choose to. Wait, what did you hear? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. I didn't understand it. Marile trying to remember the conversations they've had in the cat's presence. You guys Slowly just remember. Uh, 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 you guys just remember earlier manual. him just covering his ears, but the cat still being completely present. <laughs> And you should okay. have told him you're so much eavesdropping done. Yeah, no, I, I, I feel like I, I probably should let people know because it's ethics or whatever. A uh, question? What? What if those of us who are demony, what happens if we get like kidnapped and they take us and they want to like cut us open and stuff like that? What do we do? Tell them? I yeah. mean, yeah. I say no. I won't let that happen. Yeah, but what if it does? Unfortunately. Then I believe okay. that I believe that you all have the ability to get out of this if it does happen and we cannot get to you. Like I said, without all of you, we would not be able to do anything inside of here. I just, I was worried, that's all. I was talking to Arden earlier, and this is something that I've been dreading for many years. He's a, like eye over at Marley as he says that before, like returning back to the neutral uh, area of it. Just I, if I felt that I was strong enough to go against these people on my own, we would not have had to hide as much as we have, and it is my fault for that. Out of the way. Uh, let us go, I guess. Hmm. Okay. What were you trying to say, Marile? I was mostly going to say to Gino that, uh, Unfortunately, there are people in this world that do not care how much you say no. Well, then we kill them. <laughs> Tell that to younger me. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sad. All of this somber tone and this violin in the background sounds like the last <laughs> chip movie Schindler's List. <laughs> Who's playing that fucking music? Guy. It's probably Vamos. Vamos, like he's playing just sitting his in the bow. corner with a violin. Yeah, <laughs> he's quite good with a bow. The camera pans <laughs> slightly to the side, and he's there, and he has earphones in, and he's just like, hmm. looks down, <laughs> <laughs> sees, sees they're not playing. His music's not playing through his earphones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right, then I guess we take off, right? Okay. Hey, since I'm in frame now, you remember what to do whenever you get there, yeah? 
Yeah, we tell them that we hate you and we want to join them. Um, and then we try to work our way in. And to signal us? Right, yes, yes that part too. Whenever we find a good opportunity to signal you, we use the uh, long distance uh, thing. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Emmanuel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we use the walkie talkie to signal the attack. Yeah. Just hold it down. It'll make that tone on our end. And we'll know what to do. We're going to avoid using them in the meantime. So, once we all get into position, we're going to be out of contact. Otherwise, we may uh, accidentally sound over yours. Mm. And we wouldn't want them to hear that, would we? We will try to find a good opportunity as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. But it could take a while. He nods. All right. Let's go. All right. In we go. <clears throat> All right. You guys head back out, assuming that when you changed the tires, you had brought the vehicle back near the building. Um, yeah. Uh, you head out. As you do, Marquette engages the system to open the front. The chains pull. Gears turn. The scraping sound of metal against the uh, the floor of the area. Uh, cold rushes in from outside. You guys head out and return. Imagine to your how fucking cold it would have been with Ar with Arden and Nicolo coming back without Mario. Like, yeah, <laughs> just in a car, blasting the heat, freezing their ass <laughs> off. I chose not to address it. <laughs> Icicles forming on forming on their nose, like as yeah. within five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Will the time we spent there have constituted a long rest, or no? Uh, we'll say that the time you guys spent in there, if you want it to have been a long rest for the day, I'll say you could have taken one. Um, that'll be your Do last long desire? rest for the day, though, just so you know. Mm. I I don't need one, really, but... Uh, I, I we might... Do. We already have, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, no, okay. I took that as a request for one being made. I'm sorry I jumped the gun. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering if anyone wanted yeah, I to. I had like I had like I had like no health yeah. loss hardly at all. I was yeah. I'd literally If we like, have most of our resources. Great right job, then... Gino. I'm playing. I had 40 temporary employees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Then maybe we don't. <laughs> Things have been recharged. HD have been regained. <laughs> uh, let's go die. You know. <laughs> the saccharine nap so calls, sorry. you know. <laughs> I'm going to take this time. I'm going to take this opportunity to look through my mutagens, if that's okay as well. Hey, you want to benefit to from see. that long rest? I don't understand. Aren't they supposed <laughs> to be a punishment? <laughs> <laughs> In this game, yeah. <laughs> All right, hold on. You guys may have gotten HD back that you didn't realize you were missing. Remember that that's a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I I'm not one to retain much HD. Oh well, because I guess I guess if we to what my HD restores. I guess I if we so are. HP. I guess if we are gonna do this, I'm just gonna just gonna really quickly just uh. There we go. I'm fine forever just, now. Just uh, <laughs> so forever. I was missing seven health, so <laughs> nice. Yeah, Gino, you you're superficially one. wounded. Yeah, keep in mind, long rests here aren't to regain hit points; they're to get back hit dice. Yeah. That was Fia Nula fucking Juno throwing me on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I won, bitch. That's oh, so a right. good job, Fia. <laughs> well, you handle your mutagens. Um, the group collectively gets into the uh, into the car. You head off to the area that would have been specified to you by Vamos previously. It's only about mm, 20, 30 minutes away. Not terribly far, but uh, relatively close to the border of the, uh, the land bridge that leads out to the Kenzo Peninsula. I'm going to move you guys on the map here. Happy to be back. Happy. Because you guys had moved a bit. Uh, you don't. You're probably not going to need this very much, but here you go, anyways. You guys are about there at that point. 
the big circle, just as a reminder, is where it's estimated that the anchor is. It's somewhere in there. As you guys go there, the building that you end up going to see, uh, that you recognize the description of from Vamos as you approach it, is a two-story building that appears to be in an industrial area. A lot of, as described many times, there's a lot of warehouses around here. There's a lot of storage facilities, car dealerships, that kind of thing. Um, and yet not a lot of cars intact. Just as a note. For anyone who makes care of Warp, before you caught vamos. yourself... Before you caught yourself, I thought you were going to say there was a lot of lesbians. And I was like, that, that's kind of <laughs> what it sounded like. Yeah, okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I'm just like, I just wasn't going to say it. it. <laughs> what part of that sounded like I was going to say that? No, I don't, because you, you caught yourself and then you said what you said. Like, for, for you, like, a lot of le, and then you, like, and then you caught yourself. I was. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know you weren't going to say a lot of lesbians, but, that's but it sounded, sounded like, That's so yes, funny. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> this is where we put them all. <laughs> this is where they all are. It is, it is Pride Month. Uh, the last day of Pride, the last day you can be gay. All the yeah, man. All the all the survivors of the city <laughs> of all of the storm. They're all lesbians. They all keep real warm. <laughs> I didn't know. You I didn't know we were playing gay. princess. <laughs> I didn't know it's prince, right? <laughs> but it is a the building you come to is a two-story tall, relatively large. Uh, flat top building. It doesn't look like it has any descriptive elements on the front. It looks like it may have been a uh, storage and office building. Maybe it's a dispatch center for a, a company. Looking at it, you can see there are doors that look like loading bays on the bottom of it. Uh, one of which, uh, you probably see two of them uh, down on the back of the building, and one of them has been mostly ripped apart. Looks like it's just fallen apart in the cold. The other one looks fine. This is where you believe you have been told to wait to meet with Credo if they do show up. Right here. You'll uh, know him when you see him. He is a rather impressive man. That remains to be seen. Theo will just kind of put the hood of her uh, heckin' mantle up and just kind of fiddle with her fingers, looking all nervous. Hmm. People are just gonna be sitting away from the group, looking toward the door. <laughs> would would this be an opportune time to let you know that you all would be aware you probably arrived first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> yeah, but you didn't beat me. You can I'll get to beat, you. You can only beat yourself. You want a fucking rematch right now? No. <laughs> That's what I thought. Because I'll break your arm. Oh. I'm going to wander around. You going to go inside? <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, just noting that if you do wander away from Marile, that you will be out in the cold. Mm. In the demonic, nippy storm. Which, to be fair, has been getting lighter as you've been taking down anchors. Oh, I, I was under the assumption we were going inside. My bad. I, I, I don't think any of you had said that at any point, but if you guys no, go inside... My bad, my bad. Cool. Yeah, well, I, would, I would like to start making my way you know. Inside we go. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, that, was my, that was my bad. We I'm dab our sorry. way inside. <laughs> there, was, there were uh, dogs barking. I had to mute for a minute, and I can I just completely missed it. <laughs> that's okay. All right, you guys get out. You head inside. Uh, so there would be the main entrance. There would be the main business entrance to this building, and then there would be the uh, the back side where the, uh, where the loading bay uh, large descending door would have been destroyed and ripped off. Is there a certain way you guys want to go in, and are you going in with any sort of purpose, or like, sneakily, or brashly, or casually? Describe oh, to me how you... Need to be sneaky about it. Stylishly. Stylishly. <laughs> That's how we choose to go in everywhere. 
there doesn't seem to be much of a reason to go in sneakily. However, uh, <laughs> with the door being ripped off, uh, it is going to be a... Uh, be careful, there could still be some demons inside from the storm trying to find more people like us. If there's anything in here, uh, it will most likely uh, not be cleared out yet. I believe we showed up first. Be careful, keep your eye out. Hmm. Doing so. All right. As you guys go in, unless I'm misunderstanding, you guys just go in the front entrance. Me walking right in the front door. Uh, as you do, uh, you see that um, this building appears to be the a um, dispatch center for a postal service for a courier, uh, similar to your your FedExes or your perlators or whatnot. Uh, as you guys go in, you initially pass through the front office. Uh, you see glass panes over desks where you would talk to people who would uh, you would present whatever problems or packages you had to pick up or sell out. Proceeding in back through the back area, you pass through what looked to be the discarded and uh, scattered remains of shelves of small parcels, most of which are letters and whatnot. You see this place, um, looks like it got shaken up by the tectonic activity that had struck the area, but it's not uh, thoroughly destroyed. There are still boxes damp because of the snow that's around, laying on the ground. Proceeding around, you don't seem to find anything on the lower floor. You eventually make your way into the back, and you find there is a very large, uh, what looks to be a warehouse where things would be loaded onto uh, delivery trucks. Uh, there are rows upon rows of thin shelving where packages are stored, those that haven't fallen off of them at least. It is relatively nippy in there because it's exposed to the open air. You do pass stairs that would lead up to the second floor of the facility, on a couple of different occasions, giving you a couple of different points to go up if you wish to. But beyond that, this place does not look to be inhabited by anything. I guess we just chill till they come until they show up. I guess. I mean, we could look for like a way up top because they're probably going to show up on a helicopter. That's true. Sure, let's do that. Uh, heading up. Look in the back. Hmm? Uh, looking in the back. Uh, could you describe what you mean by the back? <laughs> uh, I just thought there might be like stairs and shit there. Aren't there from there are two them. different flights of stairs that go up to the second floor at both ends of the building. One is by the uh, the front desks, and the other is out by the warehouse at the back. Uh, can I? go with my uh, primeval awareness to see if I can sense anything in the in the area, in the, me- in the immediate area. You do know that in a building, uh, is your primeval awareness, is it stopped by uh, material? Uh, when I run for you sense the weather is present within five miles of me, reveals a number of enemies. Nope, it is not stopped. Okay. You would I know that the there are demons. direction and distance. There are fiends within five miles, but you do not detect any that are, like, close by. Okay, so nothing within, like, the building? No. Okay. It's seemingly all right. Let's uh, do what Manny says and try to find a way to the roof. Here we go. Just realized. I gotta change a thing. (gasps) Nah, fuck, I changed the wrong thing. I feel a shift in the wind. Feel a shift in the wind. Must have been the wind. Must have been the wind. Mm. As you guys also, was the opening was the opening large enough for me to drive in? <laughs> no, and it, they don't have ramps going up to them. It'd be a truck would back up to like the ledge, and things would be loaded on from there. They they wouldn't be able to drive mm. a vehicle right up into it. There's a okay, yeah. He would have found he would have found the best possible parking spot, and then just looked at it like, I'm not going to see you again, am I? <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe we start it's highly possible. You should say your goodbyes now. Before patting the car and just starting to walk back over like maybe, he's maybe we too park used a block this. away just so it's out of <laughs> <laughs> it's maybe out of danger. <laughs> At least proximity based danger. <laughs> no, nah, it'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> 
as you guys <laughs> it's not safe anyway. As you guys make your way up to the second floor, uh, you see that both stairwells at both ends of the building connect to different ends of a long hallway. The upper floor seems to consist of uh, a few offices that and small buildings uh, that just look like a regular old officious kind of workspace, uh, all of which connect to a large central room that looks almost like a board meeting room. There's a long table running through the middle of it, several office chairs that are scattered about. There's a projector on the ceiling aimed towards what would probably be a screen on one end, except where there would be a screen, you just see uh, ripped and torn paper hanging from the wall. Where you are, you do eventually when you search. Fio, you were looking. Fio, roll me investigation. Okay, dokily, my dude. Minus three, let's go. That's a zero! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love Fio, it's so funny. Uh. <laughs> you do not find a way to the roof. Fio, that's a wall. That's a... <laughs> You're... You're just, you're just looking at a wall. Theo's just playing Counter Strike right now. He's just <laughs> lagging. He's just walking to the wall. I'm trying to breathe. She's just trying. She's clipping into a wall. Theo, <laughs> door's stuck. Door, door's stuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. oh, Theo's lagging out. <laughs> oh my god, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be somebody in here somewhere. Jeez. What if we broke a window? I mean, I'm down, but what would that do? I don't know, but it would be cool. <laughs> yeah, sure. There? I walked over to the nearest window and I break it. <laughs> just punch the nice. window out. It's now much colder inside. <laughs> I did it. It was Sweet. fun. But I don't know how we're how, how this helps us. Let's look and see if we can find a ladder out uh, out on the around the sides or anything. Sure. Okay. Nicola, why don't you roll me investigation? Yup. <laughs> I don't know why you need to hold my hand. I'll take <laughs> Okay. Take Eleven. <laughs> So, looking around, you do eventually find a connecting stairwell that does seem to go up to the roof. Uh, as you go up to it, though, you find that the door that would lead up to the roof appears to be frozen solid. Uh, Molly Lake, can you, uh, do you, you think you can, you like, motions to the door, just like, it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit, um, frozen. <laughs> Again, I had to step away for a sec. Oh, you can. All right. So go ahead and. Oh, you're only doing it. All right. Nice. <laughs> Molly Lake stands relatively close to it. The flames of admonishment cause it to slowly begin to melt, regardless of their intent. <laughs> She's just so hot. All right. Opening up the roof, it is a relatively large, uninteresting flat space. <laughs> I love it. Just like we're just moving Mario Lane next to it. <laughs> like like a space it down. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, my Tommy. Everything <laughs> set off my Tommy. I know the door is frozen. Thankfully, my phone has Twitch, so I can hear what's going on while I'm in the toilet. But the point is, is that I would like to help and melt the door. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> we, we lag back about 30 seconds. Body lay agrees. The door, just by being near it, the flames of admonishment warm the ice enough that you guys break open the door, revealing a relatively flat, uninteresting uh, ceiling. Definitely large enough that something like a helicopter could land on it if it wanted to. Uh, it doesn't strike you as particularly intriguing. There we go. Did it. I guess now we uh, we wait. Make sure nothing gets in here uh, and is uh, going to get in our way to get up through here, and hopefully they'll eventually make their way here. Okay, but like, how early are we? Because we could snoop around, because this place is a mail place, and that means there's cool stuff here, because these people aren't going to get their packages, because they are super dead. You want to go look at stuff? Uh-huh. 
Let's go you know, I would, I would tell you, I would tell you no, but honestly, go at it. It's not <laughs> mail theft. The city's been destroyed. It's archaeology now. That's that's true, but yep. He's like, whatever you say to make it to where you don't feel bad about it, kid. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, going. Mail. <laughs> Why don't both of you roll me investigation again? Woo! Oh, God. <laughs> Can't wait till they find a box of corporate fidget spinners. How much Dr. Pepper oh, do you I think he'll six. come back Fuck with this yeah, time? <laughs> Probably like a case. At least a case. I'm thinking it's at least a case of Dr. Pepper. Oh, you have much What's better that? eyeballs. <laughs> case of Dr. Pepper branded <laughs> fidget spinners. <laughs> that smell like Dr. Pepper. Oh, hell yeah. Going down. Sophia, as you look through mail, the most interesting thing that you find among the packages you open that has not been destroyed is, uh, you managed to locate a full pallet of rum. <gasps> about twenty-four, uh, about twenty-four packets of it. Oh my god! I had a dream about this once. Packets of what? Ramen. I had a dream. Ramen. Oh, ramen. I had a dream okay. that like a friend left like a whole pallet of ramen on a chair. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> what flavor? Uh, beef. They... Ramen flavor. Beef. <laughs> I smell like beef. <laughs> <laughs> I ate a whole one of those once. Yeah. I did. It was all I had for like a month. I didn't want anything else. Like, like the whole like box of it. Yeah. I huh. just, I just like. Every time I wanted food, I would just make more. And and then by the end of the month, I didn't want that again for a couple of years. <laughs> I'm just imagining that, like, I'm watching Emmanuel going through things, like, in the back of his mind, like, hoping he doesn't find, like, kitchen knives or something. And then he just stops and goes, no, that would be the least dangerous thing he would own if he found that. Never mind. <laughs> wow. I don't care anymore. <laughs> he just still watches him, though. <laughs> Emmanuel. <laughs> You find several packages that look like they come from the same place, relatively long in uh, uh, these relatively long boxes, that as you unpack them, uh, you find that there is at least six or seven of the same tower fan being delivered from this place to places, <laughs> reminding Ooh. you that it is in fact July, and it should be very hot out, and it's not. These packages blow. <laughs> Ooh. You didn't find any uh, li any of uh, the uh, Nintendo's or whatever. Are you saying you're not the fan? How ancient are you? Ooh. <laughs> na, 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 na. He's a fan. What do you even do in your spare time? Think about fishing? Um, I could go. Nintendo. I could go. Blow. I could go <laughs> I can go fishing if, 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 if you want to go fishing. I've met grandmas who say it better than you. <laughs> Listen, I don't know that it's a, a, a cultural differences, probably. Oh no, you found my only fans. Are <laughs> <laughs> you ordered these? <laughs> That's, That's fucking really magical. Bad. <laughs> This <laughs> is my only <laughs> Hey, Arden. Mm-hmm. Just gonna hold up a fan. I'm a fan of you. It's... Ruffles That means hair. she likes you. <laughs> <laughs> Ruffles hair. That was... That was good. <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you. I got you. <laughs> Oh, her. Not <laughs> You had a nat 20 intelligence check just for a hair. <laughs> yeah, man. Amazing. He also remembers how to spell the word fan. <sighs> oh, at least he can spell. <laughs> Do you like 
Do you like chase a hoop with a stick or something? <laughs> <laughs> Head on down to the creek, go to the water hole, swim with the boys. <laughs> I bet you I want a like PS4, a... you old man. <laughs> is, that the, is, that the, is that the kind of Nintendo? <laughs> I, I can't. I bet you still own an iPod shuffle. Is that the kind of Nintendo? I don't know. <laughs> What's a Nintendo? It's not whatever he thinks it is, that's for sure. <laughs> Did you know that oh. the world's feet first speeding ticket was issued in 1902? No. Oh, new magazine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. He's going he was going forty five miles an hour. On a school lane? I I don't know. Cause where is it where else is that speeding? I don't know. It was on course. <laughs> I guess it's when it's speeding, because they were in the bustling old jalopies back where Nicolo's from. <laughs> <laughs> hey, crank him to get him to start! <laughs> Hey, I know what that jalopy is. <laughs> I put, hey, I know what that jalopy is. I'm not that old. a company, Fred Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> I understand Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Isn't that old? When the 2,000-year-old demon is not the oldest person in the party. <laughs> Gah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Everybody I don't know perception. how old I am. <laughs> Someone has to do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, Gino. I bet you it's Oh no, else. I lost all my style points. Well, good thing you used them on arm wrestling. That's <laughs> 20. I had four left. Well... Must I'm too busy. Nice. I'm too busy arguing and trying to figure out what a Nintendo is. <laughs> Everyone's too busy shitting on one another. Marty Lay's like, hmm. <laughs> Marty Lay, of... you are the only one that manages to hear it. You hear the distant sound of what sounds like rumbling coming from up above, but as it continues to get closer, you can make out the uh, more definition of the sound. You recognize the sound of helicopter blades. Quite high in the air, up above you guys. Distant, almost impossible to hear, but... Uh, through the window that Gino had unceremoniously shattered <laughs> earlier, which you're now standing near, um, you do manage to hear it before the others. Just want to make sure, because I'm not 20. Does that make it mean the be style point? Look at the back plate. The back plate you has two. the rules. Oh, fuck! Where? Look at the the thing on the back of uh, if you look at the back plate on the. Oh, I had hold on. You I had the map. I had yeah. I had yeah. That's why. But yeah, <laughs> skill checks are checks. So yes. Okay. Okay. I just wanted. Okay. I know. I could have just answered you. I just wanted to <clears throat> use this as a chance to bring attention to the fact that the back plate says. Yes. Um. <clears throat> I was eating sushi <clears throat> and uh. Hold on. I I need to like get back into <laughs> the swing of things. <laughs> Why don't you even find sushi here? <laughs> <laughs> There's just that look up. I think we have company. Hmm? Well, hmm. we will eat oh, this well. ramen later. We'll get you an. We'll get you a Nintendo later, Emmanuel. Come on. <laughs> oh, we're not done here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see him, I guess. Okay. As you guys head up towards the top, you once again uh, go up the stairs, because you would have had to be in the mail center to do what you were just doing. You... How much can they be? They're just toys. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> How many red orbs could Whoa. it be for a Nintendo just Switch? Just as he says that, <laughs> yeah. a, couple hun a couple hundred. What? <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> you guys head up to the, the roof, and as you do, you see the snow that has settled upon it beginning to scatter and uh, circulate in a cloud as the same helicopter that you would have seen before when you were spoken to and intercepted when you came into this area begins to slowly descend from the snowstorm above. As it does, 
The spotlight on the front of it blares on with an audible electric hum. Focuses on all of you. As it does, wind kicks up. Your hair and clothes blow in the wind as it slowly descends. With a very loud <laughs> finally lands in front of you. And the blades continue spinning for a minute. The light prevents you from seeing anyone that's inside by casting a massive glare in your eyes. <coughs> you see the door on the side of it click open and slide. You see that within the helicopter there's at least four individuals. You can see the general outlines of people moving within it. You can't tell if there's more behind them, but you can tell that at the front there's at least one person on each of the, the, in the pilot seat as well as the co-pilot seat. And you can tell that the uh, the armaments, the weapons that are built into the side of the helicopter, there's someone manning at least every station. Apart from them, a figure steps out. <laughs> a figure wearing, uh, for most of you, this would be the first time you would have seen Order of the Sword members. Um, a couple of you have seen them before. But for the most part, you guys see a relatively uh, clean white uniform. The individual that steps out has a uh, these very thick black boots on, a completely white outfit, a waistcoat that goes down to near their heels, silver buttons dar uh, dot up the front of the white coat that they're wearing that as you look at it and they come into focus, you can see there is uh, red and silver trimming that uh, paint all sorts of different designs on the cuffs and around the collar. Uh, this particular individual... Unlike the ones that you can vaguely make out inside the helicopter, are they are wearing what look to be these two silver, gray, and gold uh, shoulder pads that are securing a silver and blue mantle around their shoulders that wildly flutters in the wind as the helicopter blades finally start coming to a... a uh, begin to slow down and settle. Their hair looks to be a very um, dark brown. Not short, but... Not terribly long. It's all slicked back towards the back, except for a pointed goatee in the front that is uh, pointing forward. The, the individual appears to be a man, maybe late 20s, early 30s, as best that you can tell when they come into focus. A very intense look on their face, a very a relatively large silver and gold sword at the side of their body. Uh, Niccolo, you would recognize the design of the sword to be mm -hmm. uh, the design that they call Durandal swords. You know, that the weaponry the Order uses is all named after famous weaponry from history. As they step out, you see, finally comes the picture. This individual. Ooh! As he does come out, I will, I will be saluting <laughs> upon him coming out. Hmm. One foot comes out first, steps down upon the ground as the other remains on the, uh, the iron bars on the side of the helicopter's landing gear. One of their arms still holds onto a bar on the inside of the door as they look to you as the sound of the helicopter comes to a uh, soft stop. As their eyes intelligently and relatively quickly scan the lot of you. You do recognize, obviously, the name gives it away, but just for the clarity of everybody here, you do recognize this individual to be Supreme General Credo. There is a silence. General. Uh, there is not a silence that hangs over the area. He'll, he'll just say General as he's saluting. <laughs> I guess that clears up which one you are, then. <laughs> Haven't seen you in quite some time. I can't say I recognize you. Uh, operative, uh, Niccolo, uh, Bernardito, sir. Are you the ones who are abandoning the Knights of Ulyssia? Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> you got it. There's a kid with you. Yes, sir. Uh, it's one of the main reasons I wanted to... Uh, Urge them to come forward, sir. They are, uh, way too young to be involved in all of this. Hmm. And I have a cat. He does. <laughs> <laughs> Their expression softens. Not entirely, but 
somewhat, almost as if there's a moat of, I don't know what to do with the fact that there's a child here. <laughs> he bangs his hand on the helicopter and then closes the door behind him. Well, if we're going to take you back, I'd like to have a word with you first. I'd of like course, not sir. to talk out here in the cold, if that's okay. We have secured this place uh, below, if you'd like to come with us. He puts his hand out in a lead-the-way gesture. Oh. He'll turn to make his way down toward the stairway. Okay. Where are you okay. taking him? Um... Down toward the, uh, uh, like, to the best area for all of us to be standing. Of course, not just standing in the stairway, but not <laughs> near the broken window either. <laughs> no. <laughs> the best place for a meeting in the building would be the, what, the seemingly what was like a boardroom style room. Uh, the central mm -hmm. part of the second floor. But it's up to you where you take him. That'd be good. That'd be good. Okay. <clears throat> you take him down. As you do, he steps into the main room. You see him patting off the little bit of snow that he got on his clothes as he gets inside. First things first, you're demons. Some of you are, anyways. How'd you survive? And how'd you find yourself in this situation? Who wants to go first? Um. We have uh, all made our way together throughout this uh, this place, sir. We were able to survive mo mostly due to uh, our, uh, well, shared abilities and readiness to fight against the demons of this place. Hmm. Whenever an associate of mine had returned and told me that he saw all of you, he specifically had mentioned your name. And I tried to remember, because I don't have access to our records right now, but I tried to remember, among those of the old guard, who could possibly still be alive? And you say your name is Niccolo. Yes, sir. You uh, just alive? Old guard? You alive, see sir. You see him register the question? intentionally makes the decision to avoid answering it, walks past anyone that he has to to walk to the far end of the, the table in the room you're in, puts his hand on the back of a chair, turns towards all of you. His eyes slowly drift and they settle upon Mavile. Which means, based on what I remember, because we didn't have all that many deserters, I'm guessing you're the one that he was after whenever he disappeared. Or is my memory failing me? <laughs> There's, there's just a look, look to the left, look to the right. Oh, me. <laughs> I mean, would you kill me? Look at my face. This is, uh, Marile, sir, that is, you are correct. Uh, there is, there is an explanation, of course, but... Uh, it doesn't seem relevant to the current situation. Not in front of the child. Mm -mm. <laughs> she pulls Manny. <laughs> she just grabs Manny. The fact of the matter is, if you'd kicked up a fuss of any kind, then we would have been aware of where you went. Which means that whenever you deserted and you took this one with you, you've been laying low, haven't you? Yes, sir. As far as my, I'm concerned, my duty ends if somebody like you isn't causing any trouble, so... You can breathe easy. I have no intention of trying to follow up on Niccolo's previous orders. Uh, of course, sir. Thank you, sir. Besides, he, like, slaps the chair, causing it to spin. The situation we're in, we can't exactly be trying to fight unnecessary battles now, can we? It's true, it kind of sucks here. It does. <laughs> Child. Yeah. 
<laughs> explain why you have a kid. A kid with we... a gun! Yeah, explain oh, why you have a kid with a gun. So, sir, uh, one of the main reasons we have uh, alienated ourselves from the Knights of Ulyssia uh, is because I found this child and he was uh, a part of them, a part of their uh, their uh, whole core group. And they have uh, treated him rather strangely throughout everything that I have seen. It is concerning the things that they have had him do and had him get used to, including the the day I met him, he had this gun. I, I did not give him the gun. He had the gun originally. Um, but if it were not for Emmanuel and the things he can do, we would not be here today, sir. They made him pledge allegiance as if he was one of the knights. And they can't have that. And they wanted a baby. They also, uh, apparently, like, looks over to Emmanuel, apparently threatened to cut off his hand at several occasions. It was disguised. <laughs> his eyebrows <laughs> raise concern. Emmanuel here is very special. He is, uh, someone who has been chosen by a certain, uh, item, and they had mostly wanted him, I believe, for that, and tried to show many different ways of getting it from him, including uh, dismembering him, sir. And I cannot agree with something like that. And? And he has saved me several times over throughout all of our adventures. Um, he's extremely strong, uh, more so than his years would show. And? And he... <laughs> and he's my baby. And I'm a witch! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he has shown a lot of magical potential, yes, sir. And uh, Marile has taken quite a liking to him, as have as have I. And now you want to throw your hat in with us again? Oh, you can't have my hat. Whenever I, whenever I saw everyone uh, before in the uh, helicopter, we were attacked almost immediately after by a, uh, a large demon looking as if they were a, a dinosaur, sir. And the Knights of Ulyssia, they do not seem any way capable of helping us throughout this situation. You are the obvious choice, sir. If we want to have anyone here make our way through this alive, then I had to come back, even though I, I did not expect a... I did not expect to be forgiven, sir. Hmm. <sighs> All right. Important things that you need to know. We had come here because we had detected faint stirrings that were similar to the Dark Knight Sparta. Originally, the forces that came here did so to investigate that, and we already had some space set up before everything went south the way it did. That's our current base of operations. However, even though those above us would prefer that we uh, continue trying to investigate that, ever since I arrived and I took over the operation, I've made a point of trying to see what we can do to resolve this. And from what I understand, two of these towers from the directions that you came from, have already turned off. Was that you, or do you know anything about that? Yes, sir. That was us. So you know how to stop these things? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm gonna need your help doing that with this one, too. Any way that we can, sir. As soon as we get uh, everyone safely somewhere so that they can uh, may perhaps have even the slightest bit of rest, sir. There is unfortunately one condition I had to agree to because I have joint command of this mission with a associate of mine who you've already spoken to, who I can't imagine you ever heard about whenever you were with mm. us. And that joint condition in bringing you back, he points towards you, Niccolo, and then he points over towards uh, Gino. 
is that you two need to submit yourself for inspection by him. He's taking an interest in you two. He wants to better understand you. I had mentioned to him before, uh, sir, that this uh, Angelo unit has taken quite a liking to all of us. Uh, we are not sure exactly what will go down, but uh, over the course of our uh, time here, there have been times we have been put in danger, and in such a case, he has shown great potential in defeating those in front of us that needed it. I worry that if he is taken too far away from us, that he may uh, potentially act up. Is there any way that we could make sure that at least, uh, motions over toward Emmanuel, at least one of us is able to be around him at all times? I don't have a whole lot of control over what he does with his lab space, but... Sure. I'll make sure that you aren't all completely separated. I would like to hear more from the Angelo unit, though. It's a bit strange to see one of you acting in a way that has some kind of cognizance. Yeah, just one of a kind. <laughs> I love Gino. <laughs> You're playing this. My play. What do you want out of this? Did you come from one of these towers? Um... Don't know. My memory's a little hazy. I, um, was reactivated by the knights. They gave me, uh, gave me work to do. Didn't really like it, but didn't have anywhere else to go. And, um, then we heard about you guys, and I uh, saw my chance to jump ship. He is particularly invested in Emmanuel as well, sir. I believe that that was also, oh, yeah. looks to Gino, like that was also a reason for him to uh, Very much. get away. All right. <sighs> and I would be remiss if I didn't ask. He references over towards Fio. <laughs> He's like, fuck, I have nothing for that, sir. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> Who are this you? This is, uh, Fionula. Yep. He kind of waves his hand in, uh, like, a and... Um... I'm a demon, and I like chicken, and <laughs> I, um, I just want to help people. Like, whatever humans are left, and also my friends. You want to help people? Yeah. A strange thing for a demon to say in this kind of situation. Yeah, Consider who so. your order worships. Hmm? Mm. Consider who your order worships. Sparta was a very particular kind of demon. Demon nonetheless. It may seem strange, sir, but as I mentioned, none of us will be alive without the rest of us. Fionula is a very powerful asset to us, and she has shown far and far again that she is uh, genuine in her concerns for us. Uh, we have found her the same night we have found Emmanuel and uh, Gino here, as well as Arden. He motions to Arden. Uh, we had uh, all been taken in by this uh, storm and the seismic activity that happened before it, and uh, she has shown absolutely nothing but care and attention to us. I guess beggars can't be choosers. Alright. She has shown no love for those out here who are doing any bad either. She has helped mm -hmm. us destroy quite the number of powerful demons out there. 
including one that uh, called her uh, called themselves Lilith uh, before here, who both Fionnula and Marile were uh, essential in taking down. Oh, you killed them. Yes, sir. That's good, I guess. We didn't have to deal with them very much by the time we arrived, but I know stories about them. All right. Okay. I'll take you back with us. But we're gonna have to play it safe with you. I'm gonna need you to lay low for a bit as we figure out what to do with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. In the same vein as uh, Gino, uh, might I suggest, sir, um, that we try to make sure that uh, she is comfortable enough, perhaps even uh, making sure that her friend is with her whenever possible. Motions oh. over to uh, at Arden. Agnes said absolutely nothing about wanting to see her, so I I am not compelled to make any promises to him regarding you. Once you get there, you can do what you want. Thank you, sir. I mean, as long as you agree to follow provisional orders, that is. The only one that Agnes seems to care about, as I mentioned, are you, Niccolo, and Gino. Alright, well, I don't like being out here. What say we go back up to the helicopter? I don't particularly like being in the cold. Although it is strangely warmer around you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> That's you? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Holding restraint to flirt. So <laughs> 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 I looked at Marty Lake, like, don't. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> keeping, the mouth, keeping the lips tight, because it's just like, no, not the time. <laughs> oh. All right. Arn's just thinking to himself, like, nice, I'm the least suspicious of everyone here. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even look at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did not care about me whatsoever. I am very glad we didn't have to explain that you are, are related, or not related, that but I'm you are. That I'm actually the most suspicious person. Yeah. <laughs> Moon, this is a grandson. <laughs> No, that's just nice. Arden. We play we play Magic the Gathering sometimes on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teaching him. <laughs> this Want is to see just how warm I can get from... <laughs> This is just my <laughs> This is just my friend from the uh, from the local game store. <laughs> we met up. <laughs> silly, silly, Arden. <laughs> <laughs> Just mentally slapped herself. Damn it, Marie! Why did you say that? Out of like, out of like everyone, he is super not wanting to talk at all about Arden. So yeah, I'm very happy about this. <laughs> yes, <me too. laughs> as you, uh, as you guys wrap that up, he would walk back towards the stairwell, back up, and. Head back up to the helicopter, presuming you guys would follow him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, guys, let's go back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys head up. He goes up to the side of the helicopter, bangs on it, the door opens. He puts one foot up on it again, steps to the side, and then motions for you all to get in before him. We'll do so. Yep. Oh, getting inside. The technological whir of various pieces of equipment, of different types of uh, radar, uh, go off from the inside. Having getting uh, getting a look from the inside of this helicopter, it appears to be very well armed. Uh, there's two very large turrets on either side of it, and you notice that on the underside of the uh, on the underside of it, there appear to be what looks to be uh, missiles that could be deployed in small canisters. There are two pilots out front. As you guys get on, you are handed uh, very large earphones to put on. 
one of, one of the operatives does get ready to hand do it over, you know, and he's like, <laughs> <"What's that?" laughs> I was, was going to say that as they were heading into the helicopter, she was going to pass Credo a wink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> snap my fingers at Marty like, like, behave. <laughs> It's like a spray <laughs> bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Once you're all in, watch. He steps in as well, closes the door behind him. There, it's relatively spacious inside of it. Like it's not like massive, but there's more sitting room than you would have thought there was. Uh, you do clock that there are a total of four people who appear to be inside of this thing, apart from Credo and yourselves. Um, by the time Gino gets in and starts to get a bit cramped inside, you hear the helicopter blades okay. beginning to start up, the hum of the engine, the rising sound of the helicopter beginning to uh, ascend. You feel a thump as it lifts up off of the ground, and you see out the window as it rises up about 200 feet into the blizzard above, to the point where you can't really see anything out the windows. Just storm. You see the operators appear to be using mostly the radar and instruments to find their way around, as opposed to using any kind of visuals. Huh. You hear the chatter of the two operators at the front, the pilots, talking to each other, discussing um, mechanical information, uh, information about the instruments they're using to fly the thing. You hear it through the headsets you're wearing. Most of it is... Uh, relatively either unintelligible or just outright unimportant information. The helicopter doesn't stay airborne very long. Maybe eight to ten minutes till you get to the point where you hear Credo. You're like, alright, we we're already relatively close to where we were. By the way, I meant to ask, by the way, you sent a message by arrow. It's kind yep. of old-fashioned, don't you think? Uh, there wasn't, uh, much else I could think of, sir. Nicolo has a flair for the dramatic. I, I do not! I did... <laughs> Raise his eyebrow. <laughs> I see. Well, I can't think of any other way you would have sent it, so whatever. As you begin to descend, you come out of the storm a bit, and you see, in the distance, about several hundred feet away from where you are, you see the base of what looks to be one of the anchors. You can tell by the area around you, you can see what looks like frozen water, and you can tell that you are on a, uh, it's not a thin peninsula, but you can, from where you are, make out the sides of it. It's relatively large across, um, as you... As you come down, you see that you are coming down to land on another building that is a single-story, relatively flat building, a couple hundred feet across. Uh, as you come down to land on the top of it, you see there's what looks to be fencing around the building outside, uh, chain-link fencing that is completely closed off. There looks to be entrances to it, but they are uh, these large gates, these uh, chain metal gates that are currently closed and you see individuals who you can't see much of like you can't really tell much about their uniforms they just look like little silhouettes from where you are guarding those as you come down and land on the roof the helicopter begins to come to a complete stop you see there are two of these you see another helicopter of the same sort parked a bit of the ways across the roof from where you are it looks like there's room up here that maybe two or three of them could be parked uh, but you only see the two there currently as it eventually comes to a stop, the noise dies down. Eventually, Credo takes off his headphones. All right. This building's about as far as you're gonna go. What? I thought you didn't need headphones! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Nick. His anatomy continues to be strange, sir. <laughs> it's Gino with a much too tiny 
like <laughs> like headphones. <laughs> the sound still would have been excruciatingly loud for you. Yeah. <laughs> Gina doesn't know his own needs. Just uncomfortably in the helicopter the entire time, just trying his best. <laughs> Rio opens up the side of the helicopter, steps out, beckons you guys to do the same. So to make my way. Does so. Does so. All right. As you guys are out, he closes it behind. We keep wearing him. the headset. No, you give me that. <laughs> Aww, come on. It's not, okay. It's not for you. He hands it before closing it. He hands it to somebody inside. <laughs> After you guys are out, the helicopter begins to start up again. Lifts off the ground as it does. Credo walks away, walks over to what looks to be a hatch on the top of the building. Uh, pulls it across. You see a ladder leading down. The wind blowing his, uh, his cloak rather furiously around. The wind here picking up more. You also find it to be colder and the air is much more wet here. Uh... As he waits in front of this hatch that he's opened, he puts his hand out to you once again, issuing you to go ahead of him. I'll do so. Yep. Does so. All right, assuming you all do. As you guys head down, this appears to be a relatively uh, dimly lit building. Some lights are on, but not a lot. I'm going to grab something for my own use. One moment. No! No! <laughs> Where are you? Do, 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 do. Where are you, thingy? I need you. Where have you gone? Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. And there you are. As you go down, the ceilings in this place are relatively high. Uh, they're about 40 feet high. Um, you can. It looks to have been a warehouse that was repurposed. Like I said, there are lights on in this place, but they're relatively scattered about, giving these uh, 10, 20 foot stretches of darkness between sources of light. Uh, as you come down, you come down into an area that looks like it's between a whole bunch of storage containers, these relatively long, large, bound containers that uh, have all sorts of metal grates on the side that could be opened. And at the end of them, they uh, each of them seems to have a... Uh, a hatch that could be opened. They, they somewhat look like something you might uh, transport, like, livestock in, like cows or horses. Mm -hmm. But they are built as if they were storage containers. As they come down, looking around, you see there is a... To the south of you, in the building, uh, you see there is what looks to be a loading bay exit, another very large reinforced metal door that is currently closed. <laughs> Near the side of it, there is a console that looks like it's made of relatively old technology, almost reminds you of something you might see on an old submarine that seems to operate it. Moving around, you see immediately at least six or seven individuals wearing a outfit that looks similar to Credo's. I'm actually gonna grab you a picture real quick. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, difference between the outfits and yours is they do not have the mantle, their outfits are uh, only buttoned up with silver buttons on one side. They have the Order of the Sword insignia on the side of their uh, of their shoulders. Almost all of them uh, have their hair cut relatively short. Some of them have hoods that are pulled up over their heads. Uh, they Their outfits aren't quite as decorative as Kratos. Uh, they all carry weapons that are similar to his. Nicola, you would recognize them as Caliburn grade uh, weapons. Fun fact, these names are not me. These are what they call their weapons in DMC4. Yay! <laughs> Uh, but, uh, they are all carrying, uh, you, you note at least one handgun and at least one relatively long broadsword between every one of these soldiers. You immediately see about eight of them guarding, uh, various areas in the section that you can see, as well as at least three of them staying near the door. This is the general design and outfit that the soldiers appear to be wearing. Uh. Ooh. <clears throat> as they step in. The directions that you see you could go, there is a southern path that see, you see two doors in the distance, two very large uh, metal doors that look like they would slide to the side, as well as a path that continues on that way. But also to your east, uh, there is a pathway beyond the storage containers that you're currently uh, standing between. Credo uh, motions in that direction. He starts walking 
very briefly. It's like, all right, come with me. Gonna get you guys situated before we check in with Agnes. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, sir, uh, about that, by the way. Do you have any idea why Agnes wishes to see me, of all people? I understand Gino, but... He stays perfectly quiet. Okay. Not, <laughs> not acknowledging the question. <laughs> He's the second one he refused to answer. Got it. <laughs> I'm going to draw you guys that. on a map. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Guys were fucked. <laughs> As if that were never the case. That's true. I guess I could just do the add party button. We are fucky wuckied. We're always fucky wuckied. Oh, we're fucky wuckied. Fucky wuckied. <laughs> oh no, we fucky wuckied, yo. This is an oopsie whoopsie. <laughs> oopsie whoopsie. How are you talking about? <laughs> so the door Never that heard I mentioned. Of an so there's your map. Uh, this is just to keep track of where you guys are, so I'm not trying to describe corridors and whatnot. As well as, I don't know, if you decide to attack anybody, then here it is. Um, Why would we ever do that? We're all having, we're having a good time. Say, who's to say yeah, I would have wanted to have a friends. battle map ready for this area? Honestly, like, it's it's been rather nice uh, being here so far. Oh, it's, we're being know. led into a trap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no. Get out of here. You. I, th I think we've all been very civil with everything, yeah. and I and if honestly, they are, they played themselves. Yeah. Congratulations, you played yourself. So he leads you that away. The door I'd mentioned, the large loading bay door, is over that away. I don't have them on the map because I don't want to clutter things, but this whole area mm -hmm. is where you see the eight or so Order of the Sword members that are patrolling, mm -hmm. guarding things. And the doors I'd mentioned before, the metal ones that are within the area are down there, both of which, you, could, you should be able to see them from where you are, <laughs> both of which are guarded uh, individually by an Order of the Sword member standing in front of them. Agnes... Not Agnes. Credo leads you that way. I'm just gonna grab all of you and pull you that way, assuming that you are following orders for now. Uh -huh. yep. No anarchy yet. Pulls you this way. As you go, you notice there's not really anyone guarding this particular area. Uh, it takes you to a uh, part of the hallway where there is a two sets of wooden double doors, and he pushes them open. As he does. As the doors creak open, you expect almost a containment facility of some kind, but as you open them up, you see what looks to be a relatively, uh, relatively pleasing-looking lounge. Uh -huh. Two areas of, uh, what look to be <laughs> relatively nice-looking couches, uh, form a partial square in the corner. There's carpet going on in the area. Uh, it's not on the map, but you see there is a fridge that is humming rather intently up on the northern side. There's several lockers, uh, like lines of them. They're the ones that look like the kind that you'd find at like a, uh, you'd like rent at a, at a fair or whatnot. Like this, this the small box lockers. Mm -hmm. uh, there's mm -hmm. a line of several dozen of those on the wall. Uh, this door would be open. You see there's what appears to be an office-like room off to the side. Uh, there's a hallway leading off to your east that as you look down it, you notice that there is a two very large shipping pallets that have been piled on top of each other, and behind them it looks like piles of crates and boxes, both metal and made of wood have been stacked and piled on top of each other, and appear to have been set in a way as to block off whatever's down there. Um, the area you're in is relatively evenly well lit. Credo welcomes you guys in, closes the door behind you as you enter. This is, uh, I guess the best that we can really offer you. For now, we're just going to be giving you shelter, if that's okay. Once we figure out what we want to do with you, what your combat abilities are, and whether or not we think that we can trust you to help with what we're doing, we'll show you more of the place. But for now... Of course, sir. For now, you're welcome to here. Very nice of you. Thank you. We want to help anybody survive this. 
This whole event is a massive tragedy. I know several of you are with the Order of the Sword, and they probably demonized us in your eyes, but... Not the Order of the Sword, but the Knights of Ulyssia. And they probably demonized us in your eyes, but... Despite our disagreements with them, and despite, uh... He references over towards you, Marile, what you probably think about us. We only want what's best for the world of man. If you distrust us. We want to get through this as quickly as humanly possible. We want to end this storm. And help anybody who survived it. I promise you that. Can I... Can I insight him? Do it. This is going to go real bad. Yup. Yup. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Side world where he's pointing a gun right at your head, like it's against your temple. You're like, no, I trust him. No, I uh, yeah, no, he checks out. Is that your second? Is that your second one in a row? Yeah. <laughs> now getting him out, getting him out now. Yeah, you it's fine. A, now you got negative style points. No, no. <laughs> you owe him. No, style I got negative six. <laughs> Every NPC in the game gains one style point. Oh no. <laughs> I saw a lot of soldiers over there. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't know about this. I'm going to go and I'm going to check in with Agnes and find out how he wants to proceed with you guys. Make yourself at home in the meantime. Thank you, sir. Hey. He turns. He walks out. Closes the door behind him. You hear... Uh... Though he would be aware that it wouldn't stop you if you decided to cause trouble, you do hear a rather prominent locking sound from the door, just like a regular <laughs> door lock. Yeah, that tracks. There are windows in these doors, just so you know. Um, so you can, like, see through the uh, relatively thin metal window on each of them. So as he locks it, he just kind of looks up at you with, like, this acknowledgement, like, that wasn't meant to be sneaky, and you can tell it wasn't. <laughs> he just nods at you, turns, disappears from sight. Leaving you guys alone in this space. As What's he, this? As, uh, as he leaves, you guys hear the soft hum of what sounds like some kind of internal heating. And you notice that even a, apart from Marile, this place is relatively nice. Hmm. I heard watch this from thought. Aaron, so I'm, I'm worried. No, 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 no. What's oh, okay. this? Oh, I thought you said watch this. Yeah. <laughs> you never want to hear watch this from Emmanuel. <laughs> You guys want to see me run on the wall? <laughs> Not more I'm than I thought. I'm gonna stuff him in one of the fucking lockers. <laughs> what was harder than you thought? He's very good looking. Oh my yeah? good! General Credo <laughs> is a very uh, impressive man. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like his... so many, so many lines prepared, so just ready to go. Just had to hold them back. <coughs> mm. Yeah, God, what's this? <laughs> what's what? Oh, uh, those appear to be just tiny little um, containers. You can't immediately tell what they are. They're, they're about the size of a cooler each. Uh, and then you'll walk over to them. You see that they, uh, they're kind of latched with the same sort of a. Uh, so, I don't know why I'm having trouble describing this. They have they close in the same way a treasure chest does. They have a lid that's hinged <gasps> on one side. There we they go. They have a latch. They have a <laughs> latch. Box. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I still got COVID, Brian. Leave me alone. <laughs> 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 I'm doing my best. <laughs> They're Look. latched with latches. <laughs> <A> Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't. I, I don't think that is. Uh, that is not a Nintendo. I don't, I don't think, I do not think, it looks as if it is a uh, storage container of some sort. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I insulted him some way. <laughs> no. Switch up your attitude. <laughs> you or we insult. are gonna have a problem. Why are you enunciating yeah. weird words? <laughs> the last thing you're gonna hear is we, you, we, you, we. <laughs> what? Why would, why would I hear that? that... I, open, I don't believe, I I don't believe the there are any ambulances left out there. The one you open does appear to be a cooler. 
And inside, you see that they seem to have retrieved what drinks and whatnot they can from the city in terms of uh, both bo like bottles of water, juice, and various kinds of soda, and they seem to just be keeping what they were able to find. You mean one there? kind of soda? <laughs> you mean one kind of soda? What was that, Aaron? <laughs> Is it there? <laughs> it's there. <gasps> <laughs> oh, he found more. <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we have to save it for when it actually happens again. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, God. Yeah. Are there uh, are there cameras in this room? There does not appear to be. Okay. Cool. A gotcha. baby, I know. What about in the uh, the office area? Nope, does not appear to be. Can I look through the desk? Uh, as you do, it appears to be. Uh, there are some uh, drawers that are in it, but as you look through them, there appears to be pencils, some paper. It it looks mm -hmm. like this place was just meant to do paperwork, and it doesn't seem mm -hmm. to have any major relevance to it. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a uncomfortable looking sofa in the room as well. Beyond that, it looks to be a pretty plain room. Gotcha. No secret compartments. No well, hidden I mean, you drawers. You tell me you're looking for secret compartments. Well, I'm looking for them. <laughs> but we're all investigation. You got Do it. Do it. Get in that 20. I'm going to drink my uh, my mutagen that I made uh, that gives me advantage on intelligence. All right. Yes. <gasps> Fuck yeah. My mutagen for finding secret compartments. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. Bridge mutagen center. of compartment finding. <laughs> got like a cool name like the fucking like <laughs> it's, like, yeah! it's, like, it's like the checker of compartmentalization and you're like oh does that let you like run multiple thought processes at once he's like no it helps me find hidden drawers yeah <laughs> <laughs> it, this is this is my mutagen of, of fucking the Get the wand of hidden, yeah. hidden doors oh, or whatever yeah, dude you totally find one oh fuck yeah oh yeah you Just open a drawer there's a string mm -hmm. you pull the string mm-hmm Revealing the false bottom on a drawer <gasps> in which you have you find stored an embarrassing photo of Credo from last year's <gasps> Christmas party. No, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry to waste 20, but you don't find anything. <laughs> I mean, hey, you, you get a style point. You get a style suddenly point. found this useless ass photo. You get two, <laughs> 20, right? Yeah, you gain a style point. Two style points. Oh, is that, cre is that Credo oh, yeah. at the Christmas party? <laughs> you can use this for blackmail. <laughs> I'm just gonna reinforce. I know we're joking. You didn't find the photo. Just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> the photo you, you found that's right, you found a photo of Agnes from the Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> we can sell it back to him. <laughs> uh cool. Also, um Heckin the mutagen also gives me uh disadvantage on wisdom checks. Um so we can we can use that rule you found earlier, the oh, that yeah. gives me a negative five to passive perception. The thing perception. that I, I didn't know until recently that if you uh, yeah. if you have disadvantage you get negative five to pass. Yeah, yep. if, if the passive would matter when you have the disadvantage. That's I the yeah. is the best thing to use when people are are doing the old I have dark vision strat. Yeah, because they'd have a negative five on their passive if it's in yeah. dim light. Yeah, everything can hide from mm -hmm. you if you got a negative five. Yeah, yep. I I didn't know that that was a rule. And that's, oh, uh, really? mm -hmm. yeah, it's all heckin'. It's neat. I've got a six passive perception right now. It also, oh it means that because God. of it, just to do a, a, a short digression into why I found that out, I released the Hanyo recently. Hey, everybody in the comments, if you want to go buy the Hanyo 2022, it's, it's available good. on Drive Through RPG, and everyone seems to be liking it a lot. One of the things you what? can take from the Sword Saint thing is you can give yourself dark vision for eight hours by spending uh, focus points, as well as uh, you can you gain a bonus to your perception for that time equal to your, uh, I think it's your charisma and advantage on perception checks. And it was brought oh up my someone God. was like, hey, so does that all like stack with passive? So, uh, yeah, so if you do that, you just get like a passive plus 10 on your passive perception because of That's all of it. That's fucking gnarly. <laughs> and so I was like, is that intended? And I looked up the rule and I was like, I don't actually see a reason why that's terrible. Like, it's real useful, but it's not like game breaking. I mean, is anyone who wants to have that all the time, like that was a Velia. So it's going to have the same passive as a yeah. green dragon. Yeah. yeah. 
They're gonna have it. Plus, there's Terrifying. a point at which you have high enough <laughs> pass if you're noticing everything, and having higher pass there is not really changing much of anything in the game. Yeah. Um, so I was like, yeah, sure, but that's how I that made me look up that rule, and I was surprised. By the, the, the things you'll find if you look if you read the books again. Um. Anyways, oh, yeah. is there anything else you guys would like to do while you're in that room? One of you is drinking Dr. Pepper. Uh, um, one of you is searching for compartments and not finding any. I mm -hmm. wanna go look over here. Is this Credo's that? Is this Credo's office? You can't tell. Fuck. Well, it's somebody's. I'm leaving my card. <laughs> <laughs> hey God. Yeah. What are these? What are those? Those. What are, those? What are these? We're gonna move you over there. Uh, yeah. I had mentioned it before. Those are the pallets that were stacked on top of each other, and then. I'm just gonna like reveal behind them, and then behind them there is a ton of boxes and shipping containers and whatnot, all stacked as if to block whatever's that way. They are stacked up to the ceiling and look to be—it's a solid like 15 feet deep of just boxes. Huh. My instinct is to go through them, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm stopping myself. <laughs> If anyone can see Fio, they would see her just staring at this stack of boxes, her tail swishing kind of like a cat like, that yeah. really wants to pounce on something. <laughs> You're so What'd you strong, find over there, Fio? Fio? Huh? What'd you find over there? Boxes upon boxes upon boxes up to the ceiling, and I want to know what they're blocking, and I... But I More don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> More fans? Well, Maybe. Uh, well, uh, I mean, he didn't tell us not to look behind the boxes. Mm, all right. He said not to leave this room. Or oh, technically, it's... it's part of it. Exactly, it's still part of the room. <clears throat> Is that a yes, I can explore the boxes? <laughs> I'll uh, walk over. I'll walk over with Theo to make sure she doesn't crush herself under boxes. I want to explore the boxes. <laughs> are these like little lockers? Yeah, those are like the little kind that you'd see in like uh, like there's a little like one foot by one foot lockers that you like would have like oh. a swimming pool kind of thing. There's like rows upon rows upon rows of them. Oh, oh, look at the lockers. All right, as you go over be... to them. Um, as you investigate them, most of them just seem to contain different sets of clothing folded up and placed within them. You get the relatively quick feeling that this is probably where the Order of the Sword members just keep uh, loose objects and whatnot. Ooh. <laughs> Starts putting cards in every one of the shirt pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try to move these boxes? It would take a while. There are dozens of these things, and some of them are bigger than Fio. Look, we only need to move the ones at the top to see over it, right? Mm, <laughs> you are correctamundo. <laughs> Correctamundus. <laughs> Correctamundus. What? Dad? <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Is that you something want? you're going to invest time in doing? Uh-huh. It sure is. I'd like you both to roll me athletics checks for the Woo! general escapade you're about to go on. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, okay, oh, that was almost. Oh, I no. was gonna cry. Seven. I'm <laughs> helping. I wanted to be a three so bad. It was like, eh, eh. okay. All right. I'm helping. You climb over the two relatively large uh, stacked shipping pallets, and you get up to the top. You start pulling on these large boxes. Some of them have metal reinforcements. As you pull them, you notice that the ones at the bottom are very sturdy. You presume they have something in them weighing them down, but the ones up top appear to be relatively light. They, uh, they don't... Well, not relatively light, but by comparison. They don't seem to have anything in them. Uh, as you pull at them, you pull a couple of them down. They clatter down to the side. The first one that hits the ground lets out this loud crack that echoes through the halls around you. Ah, butter fingers. Sorry, didn't know your fingers were made of butter. Uh, you, you're, you're lifting these things like they weigh nothing. <laughs> they can't do. 
Apparently, Theo is just ridiculously strong. <laughs> if today's been any <laughs> other way. we established today. <laughs> I mean, my strength is a plus four, so yeah. It's true. <laughs> I am strong. As you guys continue to do that, it would take you a while to do, because uh, they're not mega light. Um, the ones on top are just manageably light. So you're drinking. Your lockers. Your g- compartment. <laughs> Gino. Mm. What would you like to do? What would you like to spend some time doing? Um. Guess I'll go hang out over there with the box crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a he- we have help. You need help. I'm good. He just like I clangs do, himself on the head a couple of times. Oh, there we go. That's way better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're moving the boxes so that I can see if there's anything behind it, because I feel like they'd be hiding something. Well, here we go. Lifting boxes. You do also see while you're in there, um, there is a a large set of wooden double doors that also have windows in them that are right there, right below. Ooh, the, uh, which the are looking through it, there looks to be a meeting room. There's a very long table in that room. I'll just uh, I'll just get rid of the door to open it, just so you can see through it. There's a relatively long table in that room with eight seats at it. There's a uh, it has this uh, black kind of marbleish look to the top of it. The room is otherwise pretty vacant. It looks to be another what kind of conference meeting room sort of situation. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Boring. All right. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Um, I'll just keep. I'll try lifting boxes too. Roll me athletics. Make it good for there. Here we go. Yo. Me, me, I dare you. I did. Good job. <laughs> With uh, Gino helping, I'm. I'm now. I'm now just supervising. <laughs> <laughs> Already. You like try lifting a box, you're like, oh, nope, 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 not gonna. Mm-mm. I'm right. not gonna throw my, this is not me throwing up my back today. All right, <laughs> as you guys get on trying to look through there and you try to move boxes, uh, that would take you a minute. Everyone's got their tasks for a bit. We're just about at two hours. I would like to take a quick break so people can refill their waters and such. And then no. we'll go and come back to this. I found oh, a thing of nuts burr. inside the Nintendo. Hi, chat. Hi, chat. Goodbye. I'm gonna go get more water. Be right back. There was apparently a lot of Dr. Pepper and a, and a thing of nuts inside that Nintendo. Ow. I'm gonna defenestrate you. <laughs> Manuel said it was a Nintendo, so I guess it's a Nintendo. I don't know. Come <laughs> remember. So Emmanuel is is a uh, is a uh, is a Sega also a Nintendo? No. Oh. What about the uh, the the cross box? No. Oh. Not even a thing. Well, yes, it's the uh, the one that is uh, has the the cross on it. You know the the cross box. <laughs> Even I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> Is the uh, is a PlayStation a kind of Nintendo? No, but the Sega Genesis is. Oh, Manuel's just giving up all hope for you. <laughs> I'm trying to show interest in Emmanuel's interests. There you go. <laughs> this is the you ever best see look the, you get from Emmanuel? You ever, you ever <laughs> see those toys in the supermarket, Nicolo? The one with the water and the rings, and you press the little button, and it goes shoo, and you get the rings, and then you get the the rings and the the thing. They cost I like a dollar. So, yeah. Nintendo. Oh. Marley's just going in the opposite direction. Everything's a Nintendo, Nicolo. Believe me. That seems that seems a lot better than that hundreds of dollars thing you said earlier. You know that those cute little keychains that are shaped like eggs that have the little pet in it and five days it dies in its poop? 
I did not know that that's what happened with them, but yes. Nintendo. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There's a Spanish there's a Spanish joke here sometimes. Older older Spanish people they just see electronic device and they're like Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Smartphone is this thing. a Nintendo? <laughs> the Nintendo. That is not just that is not just my family. As someone who grew up with that. That's not just a Spanish thing. <laughs> that's yeah. something I had to grow up with as well. Turn off that Nintendo. I feel like that's most generations older most than older the generations, ones they just see they just see that and think it's Nintendo. Yeah, it bothers me because they say that they're like, oh, no, no, I don't want to bother learning all that. They're entirely capable, and I know this because they can tell the <laughs> difference between cars. Like I sometimes, can. visually, a look and just at a distance, be like, yeah, that's a Mazda or that's a Toyota, I'm and like, yet these car. motherfuckers <laughs> can walk up and it's written on the dang item, and they're like Nintendo. <laughs> well, you see, Emmanuel, you can tell that that is different because of the way the tires look, and as they as they show them. <laughs> I don't know cars. I'm making everything up. You know, my grandpa <laughs> can smell truck brand from a kilometer away. You'll know if it's a Chevy or a Ford or whatever coming towards him. But if I handed them any console, well, then what is this? Is this a Pikachu? There was an amazing point in my life where I was technologically far enough ahead of my grandparents that I could assist them in installing something like a VCR or a DVD player. But I was young enough that they refused to accept the fact and would not let me touch it because I would break it as far as they were concerned. And so instead, I got to watch my old, <laughs> my grandpa sit there and swear at a TV for three hours because he doesn't know how VGA cables work. I was going to say, I've never got to a point where they didn't trust me with something like that because I, I guess I was a little bit older than you. Um, but like my entire life has been literally my my parents and grandparents are looking at me like, you're a genius with technology. I put three colored fucking wires to three I, colored looking ports. Oh, I yeah. plugged I it in. Family now, for sure. <laughs> My computer's charging now. What did you do? I plugged it into the wall. <laughs> well, like even recently, freaking um, Spectrum sent out, sent us out some new cable boxes and stuff. And without them knowing anything, they're just like, mm, "We'll have we'll have Cody do it." <laughs> so it's like I'm sitting there like I don't know anything about fucking cable. <laughs> <laughs> I, but no, uh... no, he's got this. <laughs> Uh, I'm considered the tech whiz because uh, my my grandmother, I love her to death. She had three Facebook accounts, one per each item that she could log onto Facebook with mm -hmm. because she didn't know how to log in. She just knew how to make a new account. And so every time oh. she got a new device, she would just make another account. So I just <laughs> looked at the two least used ones logged out of them and then logged into the main account on all three wouldn't you and, have to make a new email for that uh Every no time? you can have multiple emails <laughs> you can have the same email for multiple accounts uh maybe not anymore i don't know probably given that facebook doesn't care um and uh so yeah she thinks i'm a tech genius <laughs> these are the kind of people that uh I, I don't think it's the case anymore. I know I strongly cautioned them against this. Their their passwords were written on the wrist rest for their keyboard. Yep. Oh my <laughs> God. Because they forget, because they're not used to having to remember that many passwords. Um, my grandfather would have it on a sticky note attached to the computer, yep. like to the screen. Yep, yep, yep. Oh super, Just super his dangerous His password stuff. for like everything. I okay, these that's these are the people that are prime targets for these phishing scams and like really really targeted stuff. There's literally if you get phone calls, most of the scam calls you get are going to be during the work week, during the day. And the reason that is is because they know that a working adult like from the ages of 20 to 65 is probably going to be at the office. So the only people that should be home ideally should be retirees who probably are big enough boomers that they don't know what they're doing in regards to tech. So they can be like, hi, it's me from TELUS. Give us $300 in Amazon gift cards and we'll fix your computer that we broke. And this is gonna sound really, really, 
This is gonna sound really mean. I thought it was because most of them are in, are in India and that's usually the time difference. Uh, they plan around it. They actually have their business day scheduled for wow. those for those boomers. Wow. Yeah, there's uh, a bunch of different YouTube channels that like document how they try and fight those scam sites and stuff. And yeah. they have like a slightly offset work day to try and sync up with boomers being at home. I got a call literally a couple days ago from quote unquote Telus, and when I responded even remotely aggressively back, trying to figure out why he was calling me, he hung up and I was like, oh, it was a scammer. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sometimes if they pick up and they think you're young, they might just hang up on you because they're like, no, no, this is a waste of my time. I wanna maximize their income. I always get I used... the call for about the postage, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, that's the, usually the scam call I always get is, is like, we have one of your packages in customs. And I always send it, like, and it's usually like a really thick accent. And it's just like, uh, are you calling about your package? I'm like, the one I don't have. And then I hang up. <laughs> Damn. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I always get calls. Uh, they're like, hey, you were call calling you about your about your freaking social security benefits. I'm like, you mean the ones, don't, you mean the ones I don't have anymore? Bye. <laughs> I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> no, I used to answer sales calls. Uh, in a baby voice. Because it would really, really fuck with people. I, I think the weirdest one I ever got is I, I got a call, but clearly they had a scam Excuse script. Me, I'm back. But the Welcome scam back. script was like one for if I called them. And so this guy was just gaslighting me <laughs> into thinking I called him. And I'm like, motherfucker, it is my day off. Like, why are you wasting my time? That's funny. Yeah, it's, it's amusing. I was actually Man. talking to Henny about it. Henny was roasting me because I missed one of his texts a couple days back. And he's like, why did you get back to me? And I'm like, Oh, it's because normally anyone who calls me or anything, it's almost always a robot. It's like one of three specific robots that are my regular callers. <laughs> I just I just saw a TikTok that was someone being like, their phone was ringing and like, okay, so my house has a landline and I don't know the number, but apparently the telemarketers do. So, and then they pick it up and they're like, yeah, hello, you've reached Mortuary's uh, a funeral home and pizzeria. Yesterday's loss is today's sauce. What can I make for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then just click as they hang I got a bot caller the other day. Um, that, uh, I, it's one I usually get. Uh, it's like, it always starts off like, hey, is Tina there? Uh, and then, like, if you answer, they go, well, uh, it's like, no, this is so-and-so. It's like, oh, well, maybe you can help me. But it's it's a fucking robot. And I, fi <laughs> I finally confirmed that because it glitched when it called me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it just says, like, hey, is Tina... Hey, is Tina the... Hey, is Tina... <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's hilarious. <laughs> the worst it's part so is, like, the most malicious of these, like, all they're trying to do is get you to, like say the words yes or no so that they can yeah. take like your like your voice saying yes or your voice saying no yeah no it's fucking uh, scary. To, like use on things it's so fucking dumb yeah. hate it yeah people suck sometimes mm -hmm. telemarketers suck yeah yeah, should use that technology for the betterment of mankind. Like, yeah, honestly, capturing someone saying penis. The robots <laughs> I get are are frustrating, but the actual sales pitch calls I think are ten times more annoying. Penis. Because especially if you've learned their script, if you've been called enough for the same one over and over again, you kind of learn what they have to read out to you. And there are times where I will head them off at the pass and be like, hey, I'm really not interested. And I will hear them powering through it as they just want to get the words out of their mouth. I'm like, okay, well, let's waste both of our time. Yeah. Penis, 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 penis. The sad thing is most penis. of them don't want to be doing it either. Yeah, I think the worst mm -hmm. one that I, I actually had to like go to my bank and annoy them about because it was starting to like really make me mad is they kept offering me the Balance Protector Premier Plus program. Uh, and basically, it's I pay my bank money. Uh, and if I can't pay my bank money, then they'll pay themselves the money that I would have paid them. If that sounds what weird to you... 
It's because it's a very on its face scam. Like it is. But Aaron, what if you can't pay the money? Yeah, they're like, well, what if you're in the hospital? I'm like, then I don't care if I'm getting bad credit. What are you so gonna basically, do? Come rip off my cast and be like, sorry, so basically, champ. It's you pay them as insurance against times when you can't pay other bills. What, That's the idea. Uh, the idea is I pay a percentage of my minimum daily balance. So whatever I have on my credit card owing they take a percentage of that and I pay them. And then if I ever don't pay my minimum monthly payment, they'll make that payment for me. Yeah, out of that. But all that is is paying more than my minimum monthly payment for them to occasionally do that. And it is, I don't know, it's just... There's no deal there. Like, you're, just, you're just paying money. That literally, paying when, I first, now. That's it. when I first started uh, getting them, I was talking to my friend's mom, who's a notary, and she's like, yeah, no, that's like literally <laughs> one million percent just there to extract money from you. Uh, I was sent a, okay, I was sir, sent a I TikTok. I believe you're thinking of Kitboga, is what I think it you're talking about. Boga's very, very good. He's Kid still Boga. he's still streaming all the time. He still does stuff. Oh, yeah, he's going strong. Yeah. I was sent a mm -hmm. TikTok uh, the other day where literally the uh, it was like just showing the um, the bike store from the original Pokemon series. Uh, yeah, I think I know like the one you're talking about. Million dollars and stuff like that. It's just like, and yeah. they're talking back and forth about like how it's like, so you either only sell the bikes for a million dollars or you give them away for free. And it's like, yep. And she's like, this would be a this would be a crazy money laundering thing. And then like <laughs> you just see the the cashier look to them very seriously, and then the 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 buyer's like, uh, and then it's just you hear like almost like rocket music starting up. And it's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> So my god, are we missing anybody? I don't think so. Roll call. Oh, here it is. Let's say we start up again in seven minutes. That okay. one there is Go the one, one I'm talking about. Uh, Logan? <laughs> yeah. Logan, I'd like to use Grim Psychometry on this picture of uh, Greedo uh, in the, the in this Christmas outfit. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah. I'd like to know its evil origins, please. Thank you. I do not know what to do with that. <laughs> Tell me the history surrounding this mysterious object. <laughs> okay. Uh, every okay. year, Sanctus throws a, a thrasher on New Year's. And... Uh, mm -hmm. All the, right. uh, all the upper order of the sword members are always invited. Uh, they they, mm -hmm. they go to the, the big room where they have the savior, the, the huge docking bay in DMC4 where the, the, the savior statue is. They, they, they put a big, giant, house-sized Santa Claus hat on it, and they fill the entire mm -hmm. room with tables filled with all kinds of Christmas snacks. They don't call oh. it Christmas, though. It's Sparta Day. Oh, Sparta Day. Sparta Day. Sparta Day. Sparta Day. And uh, that day in particular, because it's New Year's, is for them uh, New Sparta Day's Year's Eve. Okay. That was the other one. Uh, Jim oh. Browning is the other scam channel. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this. <laughs> Thank you for this, Logan. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, the, uh... The one, this one particular <laughs> year... Mm -hmm. His younger sister was finally old enough that she had to be brought to the celebration. <laughs> and the entirety okay. of that particular celebration was him trying to keep her out of, uh... I have genuinely no idea where to go with this. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think from I'm zero at all keep times. letting you talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, something, if I keep going, something is going to click and I'll find an avenue. And I was like, Kyrie is the answer. And I was like, no. Kyrie just, no. just, just trying to keep her, just kind of keep her away from Nero the entire time. No, nah, he wasn't work. there. He's not allowed in there. The Order of the Sword doesn't heck in, doesn't let him into any of their cool stuff. <laughs> Well, that's I'll what it was. Sure he tried to, to sneak in young Nero and the entire party. <laughs> he tried to hide them. 
it was a two midgets in a trench coat situation. His younger sister and Nero <laughs> were like on top of each other on his <laughs> trench coat, trying to blend in. And when he found out, the picture was taken of him very anxiously trying to hurry them out away from the savior. Nero's <laughs> slightly Frito's so cool. Nero's a fun guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Frito's a, Frito's a good guy in a bad place. I'll be sure to put this information to good use. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad like he was. Beard. He was my. I'm glad he was my commanding officer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to like pet look at him for like, giving me for all of my for all my betrayal? <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah the, that guy's a good CEO. He's a very good CEO. <laughs> I'm sure he's not suspicious at all. Not nah, definitely. That's why no. he's not an- answering definitely. your questions. Definitely not why? Definitely. <laughs> like. No, he's not answering that one particular question you keep asking. Fine. <laughs> Wants to fucking kill you. Um, gotta help. I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, when this is compared to, like, compared to, like, uh, DMC four. Before, but, man. <laughs> well, I know it's before, <laughs> but like, I don't know. I, <laughs> Full stop. I don't know like how much before. <laughs> so like, I'm just sitting here like, mm. <laughs> if anyone ever asks me to specify, I won't. <laughs> it's not it can't be too terribly long because he still looks about the same age as he is in that game so they never give his age but i would estimate that credo in dmc4 is probably late 30s i would propose because we know he's he's been in operation with the order since like nero was tiny and like when nero was like young enough to be like a child a homeless boy credo was already a soldier yeah so, and if this picture shows Nero as a small kid, then that means we're at least this. Okay. <laughs> I would say at nice. least it's at least five years before DMC four is what I would propose. At least I'm not, I'm not here to try to affect Canon though. So I don't care to be more specific. <laughs> What do you mean? Our game's super going to be canon, and it's going to be the next game. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, end of this whole thing, I'll reveal this has all been, like, a big marketing campaign with Capcom, and, like, DMC6 is coming out when we finish the game. <laughs> and they just, like, they make an announcement at the end, being like, and we did not expect them to miss as many games as they did. <laughs> How hype I would be to be a canonic Dante fanboy. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so fucking good. Alrighty. Back in third coffee. <laughs> Back mm-hmm. in crazy. <laughs> crazy. I haven't had that many in a while, but I, I, I need it. All right, the only are person... you going to be okay? And are you there? Huh? Yeah, I've been here the whole time. Yeah, okay. I was just making yeah. sure you were still here. Yeah. That's all. Are you um, going to be okay, Hayden? <laughs> I'm going to... I drank my whole water bottle again. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. That's I'm my perfect. heart. That's the that's the sound of my heart. That's the sound of my heart when I'm around you, baby. You wink, <laughs> wonk. You get weird when you're on coffee, Pio. <laughs> <laughs> I need. Where are you? you get, I had so get much of weird. an explanation ready. <laughs> I had so much of an explanation ready for the whole Mario Life thing, and he's just like, nah, I'm fine. It's fine. I forgive you. Whatever. Nah, that's good. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. The Did you world's have frozen. For... Who gives a shit anymore? Exactly. Did you have anything ready to for if he asked evening? about Arden? I have nothing. <laughs> 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 I was going to lie up my teeth is what I was going to do. <laughs> and if I could explain, I could I seduced him. <laughs> that's, oh. I mean... The idea b- b- behind his explanation was literally going to be, uh, I fell in love with her, and I didn't know if it was because he was a succubus or not, so I took her away so that I could get away from the s- Order of the Sword so that I wouldn't compromise anything, but then I realized I just loved her. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Aww. I seduced him. <laughs> <laughs> so I realized I left without without any reason, but then I'm like, oh, I can't just go back, and then this happened, and I can't, well, I can't, I can't go back, and now I'm back. <laughs> Hi. Everyone knows in order to combat the succubus, you send an insect one. 
Everyone knows that. Everyone, <laughs> knows, Everyone that. knows that. Yep. Everyone knows that they resist yep. my advances. I take psychic damage. Huh. Huh. Where's that Pathfinder? <laughs> Which is the one where Succubi takes psychic damage if you don't like them? Uh, Pathfinder 2. If you insult oh. them and whatnot and make them feel unwanted, they take psychic damage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Isn't that also just a Pathfinder one thing? I don't. I, it could be. I just know that when Pathfinder two came out, people got really like brought it up okay. again and memefied it. Yeah. <laughs> Funny though. They For they which? they no. they feed the <laughs> they feed on positive like attention and they it hurts them to be rejected. In uh, Pathfinder, it's, it's literally yeah. that anime thing where someone gets insulted and then an arrow gets shot through them. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Yordles. I mean, literally, the canon of League is that Yordles need enough hugs or they die. And the only one who hasn't been hugged for over a year became a super villain in order to survive. <laughs> 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 and literally wants to take over the world so everyone gets hugs. <laughs> like they're weird That's... little hug goblins. <laughs> Alrighty. That's so cute. Let's uh let's jump back in, guys. I don't... Let's just jump into it. Nothing will go wrong because we're in a box. Watch out! Bye bye. Wait, hey guys. What? It's 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, 11 a.m. <laughs> 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 sure is, <isn't> Sean. <laughs> Listen, I spend too much time with Brayden. She's rubbed off on me, so every time I see the time, I'm like, <laughs> What are you talking about? What? In the chat. In the chat, it says 11 a.m. And every time the clock shows in the chat during Vestige, Brayden has, like, a stroke. Uh, oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yes. I get it now. I've been on it. And now I understand. <laughs> so, so we're as, looking at boxes. As you guys are pulling boxes, you eventually pull enough that you can, uh... Uh, Theo and Gino, why don't you give me perception checks? Okie doke. Okay. Uh, I'm supervising. Shit, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Woo! Right. I win. <laughs> I'm not trying to compete with you. <laughs> good, because you lose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> feel a lot of weird, random hostility coming from you. As you peer over, Theo, you manage to be the first one that gets a look on what might be on the other side of these. Uh, from what you can tell, in the darkness beyond those boxes, there appears to be a very large statue. Uh, you can't make out much of it, but there appears to just be a very large female statue standing, uh, completely inert. Nothing remarkable about it. You can Does see it look familiar? Uh, why don't you roll me a, why don't we say, investigation check? Because you can only see, like, a little tiny bit of it. Do it. Roll a, th roll a one. <laughs> well, yeah. you can't Close make enough. out much about it. There's a lady statue back here. Cool. Is it a nice lady statue? I don't know. Oh. Is I it can like, see, like, uh... it's thigh. Oh. <laughs> well, that makes sense why you don't know who it is. It's just the thigh. Marile, you're an expert on thighs. Do you think you can? <laughs> <laughs> I can look it over. Is that what you want me to do? Do you want me to pose with it as well? I'm, I'm sure not he does. seeing that part, but... It wouldn't uh... be the first time. I, I do not ask you to pose with statues. I didn't say that you did. Did you want to? Could you just see what it is? <laughs> Fine. Lay, as you begin to walk down towards that area, um, there's a creak. And the door is behind oh. you. As one of them opens. As you guys have been given a total of about half an hour on your own by this Wait. point. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you begin walking down towards it, uh, Arden, you would also be poking your head out of the door by this point, having uh, thoroughly investigated that yep. small room. As you see Credo once again unlocking the door, opening it. 
looking down towards the couple of you that are down oh. at the end messing with the boxes. Hey! Oh. What are you doing over uh, there? I'm just curious. <laughs> Start oh, just, moving those. Like... Okay. Oh, okay. My bad. We know what it's we're going to do with you guys. Mm. Specifically, oh, Nicolo, Gino, oh. come with me. <clears throat> uh, you guys said you didn't want to get split up, <clears throat> so if you guys want someone to come with each of you, feel free to. Looks to, uh, I don't know, it looks around to anybody who's, like, want, wants to come with, maybe. Manny and Marty, like? Sure. Steps forward. Uh, if, uh, if you'd like to, you don't have to. You're doing a lot of assuming today. Mm. You know what they say about people who assume. Why are you asking all them questions? All right, yeah. People who assume you make an ass of you and me. Anyway. <laughs> um, I'll stay here, hold down the book, keep the couch warm for you when you get back. I'll stay with you. Okay. Play nice, you too. You play nice. I never. I know. <laughs> so is my so so who is going with them? Marile is going with Nicolo. Gino. Uh, It'd be funny if Marile is just like, what do you mean? I'm not going with, you, I'm going with you. I'm going with Gino. Gino. <laughs> going with Gino. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> going with a big strong strapping oh, empty piece of armor. <laughs> mm. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, good. I'm just dying. I just feel like another Don't. little tickle in my nose, and I'm like, is there another one coming? Am I gonna, am I gonna sneeze again? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna is this it? Yeah. Is this it? Is it? Are, we doing, are we doing this? Should I start talking? As soon as I start talking in character, am I gonna sneeze again? Is it gonna happen? <laughs> it's still there. It's not gone. This is ongoing. This is an active train of thought. Okay. Look at a bright light. Did it go away? I think it's gone. Pineapple okay. works. <laughs> pineapple <laughs> works. <laughs> I had a really bad pineapple reaction yesterday. Oh no. Aww. Stop eating you? things. I'm eating pineapples. Maybe if you didn't eat it, <laughs> the then is, you wouldn't. I didn't know it was, I didn't know pineapple was in the, uh, the fresh pressed juice that I was drinking yesterday until I was okay. dizzy for like the majority of the evening. <laughs> did you, did you continue to drink it? What did you think was the juice? It was, uh, I thought it was like orange mango and ginger when I bought it, and mm. then I just cracked mm. it open and started drinking it, and I didn't realize until after. I was and like, you this. just <laughs> like a puffer. <laughs> <laughs> my tongue felt tickly, my eyes felt owie, and then I was dizzy for the entire evening. Ugh. Oh, I should drink more. <laughs> but it was really tasty, but anyway. <laughs> Sorry, you said pineapple, and my ADD brain was like, I have a story for you! <laughs> That's okay. Alrighty. You guys. boop a doo -boo. You guys are led out. Presuming no one does anything to stop what's going on, Credo would turn and lead you guys out. You notice that as he's moving, there is another order of the sword member. Uh, a man that looks to be uh, mid-twenties. Same rank-and-file look as the others that appears to be accompanying him. Walks behind you guys as Credo walks ahead and guides you. As you guys walk, he leads you guys back around the way you came. Back through the main area where there's the large uh, loading bay door. He comes to the middle of that area. You feel the eyes on the order members watching you guys as you pass. In particular, Gino, you can tell that they have a particular interest in you. With each metallic footfall of yours slamming down on the metallic grating that constitutes the floors here, you can... you can hear... you can... well, not hear, you can just feel their eyes digging into you. Credo comes to a I stop. Just like, 
oh, randomly sorry. pick one of them to look right in the eye for like a like a solid like ten seconds as I walk by him for no reason. <laughs> How long time come down? <laughs> as they come down, uh, Credo comes to a stop about halfway down the bay, looking forward. Uh, he looks to the Order of the Sword members who are guarding the two doors that are down there. Um, raises his head to one of them. Uh, that one steps out of the way and opens the door behind them. You see a greenish glow coming from the other side. He, but before he does anything regarding that, he turns. Uh, he turns towards uh, specifically you, Gino, and Emmanuel. Looks down to you, Emmanuel, and he just kind of kneels down to get on your level. You said you wanted to stay with him, right? It. All right. The reason I said you could each bring somebody is because I didn't want to split you up from everybody entirely. But you two uh, emotions to Niccolo and Gino. We have reason to want to keep you apart right now. Mm. Not going to be a problem. Uh, no, as as long as uh, as long as Emmanuel is is taken care of. Uh... I do not think that Gino will have any adverse reaction, right? Nope. Pat some on the Should shoulder. Should be all good. <laughs> all right. In that case, Emmanuel and Gino, I'd like you guys to come with me. And you two, Mari Lay, Nicolo, just wait here. It'll only be another minute or so. Yes, sir. He motions for you to come with him, and he walks down the eastern passage, uh, as he does the Order of the Sword members surrounding you guys back there. Uh, they don't do anything. You can just tell you're being kept an eye on. They don't surround you. They don't do anything aggressive towards you. Uh, the hallway that you can see in front of you, you see an, uh, Gino and Emmanuel that you're about to walk down. You see that, uh, it appears to be the, effectively the front of whatever this building ultimately is. Um, and when you get to about here, you can tell that, uh, down towards the south, the, uh, there is a, what looks to be the actual entrance to the building that you didn't come in through, but that is the way that you would go in and out if you were on foot. There's also down that passageway another door, uh, there is an, that token actually shouldn't be there, but there is an Order of the Sword member that is guarding the door where you can see them there. Uh, no, there's a, there's one guarding each of them. As well as, just to point out doors, because they are a bit hard to see in the map, there's also one there. And there is also okay. one there. They all seem to go to the same place, and you see about a dozen Order of the Sword members surrounding that area protecting them. I would like both of you to roll me a perception check. Boom. Mm -hmm. Oh, so close. Emmanuel. At the your most of your vision of the end of this area is blocked by what looks to be this like massive reservoir like container that has ladders going up the side of it to the top of it, um, pointing at it on the map. And you can see that on top of it there are two Order of the Sword members who are effectively keeping watch. They're elevated by about twenty feet, and they seem to just be using it, leaning on a rail that is along the top of it, uh, keeping a gar, uh, keeping a watch out on the hallways surrounding the area. The, you see what appears to be a large fuel container. You presume it's what's been keeping this place on, on the northern side of that, uh, that area. But before you go down that way, Credo turns, takes you through a door on the northern side. As he goes up to it, uh, he has another Order of the Sword member step out of the way, and he puts his hand on a, uh, scanner that is beside the door. Once again, you are reminded of the fact that they had set up shop here before any of the stuff here had actually occurred. As he does, it opens, uh, the door opens, you hear a lock disengage, and when he opens the door and walks through, oh, stupid nose, you can see the floor inside changes into this more industrial metallic kind of grating, and on the inside, which he, he leads you guys in, and the door is closed behind you, as he leads you inside, there is this massive metal canopy that has these thick metal reinforcements coming down the side of them, uh, large metal grating is along each side. You can see all kinds of hinges, uh, connecting metallic elements that are fitting together and binding it to the ground. Looking up, you can see the ceiling, uh, it has a large hatch on it that looks like it could open to the sky up above. This large metallic canopy that dominates most of this room 
uh, appears to be, you can see it on the map, but it appears to be about <laughs> 20 feet in diameter across and mostly circular. You hear the humming of machines, uh, both computerized and uh, just the sound of fans and such going off in the room around you. You see the walls look like they're uh, filled, like covered in piping and electronics. As he goes in, he stops. There's nobody in the room except for the three of you. He walks up to it and he puts his hand on the side of this massive metal canister. So... We brought this in case there's anything that we needed to take back. Do you know Angelo? You, uh... Mm -hmm. I understand that you mean well, but after conferring with other people here who might be concerned about you being here, given that you're kind or what we're fighting, it's been expressed that some people would feel safer with your presence if, until we decided how much we could trust you, you remained inside of here. Uh. I know it's a bit inhumane. No, I'm not gonna lie, this... this... I got a woman treatment from the nuts, and that's, uh... Yeah. I understand. Rather, I brought you here so I could give you a chance to give me any good reason or proof why you shouldn't have to go into here. Well, there's the fact that you're going to need me to get inside that thing. That's for starters. Yeah? The anchor. Yeah. You're the one that can get That's in there. Out. Yep. Hmm. He looks down to a manual. Is that true? Yeah, I've never got in without him. Well, that's certainly why you're useful to us, but... Our understanding is that these anchors are where things like you have come from. We've dealt with more than a few armors like yourself. We have reason not to really trust you. You being useful is fine. But I'm looking for any reason not to ask you to stay in here. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. That's up to you. I should know. This wasn't my idea. I mean, I could get in. You don't. Well, uh, no, I wouldn't. I would not. You don't have uh, to. I mean, it can't hold me. <laughs> I mean, it can't hold me, too, but, you know. You'd be surprised. Well, now, now, now I'm kind of thinking it's like a challenge. Uh, this thing was built for a very, very particular purpose. What's that? There are... I don't know what you know about our organization, but the main people that we're interested in are those that are related to Sparta. And of the two individuals who we might see fit to try to contain, one, historically, has a means to... pop in and out of wherever they want to be with relative ease. Because of a, an armament they have. This thing was I built really so that demonic powers him. can't allow a person to gate in or out of it. Specifically, so that if we had to contain them, we could. How long do you plan to keep me in there, if I were to do so? Until we make sure you guys aren't up to anything. Indefinite. You understand why we'd be suspicious of you. I understand why you want to leave the knights, but... It's pretty convenient. Yeah. He just, like, looks at the thing for a, mo a few moments. Well... I mean... You're gonna have to let me out eventually, so... I suppose for the time being... He looks to Emmanuel. I don't- I- I think it's kinda dumb. I don't know how to convince you that that's like a bad idea. 
I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, I don't want to hurt anybody, but you probably won't believe me when I say that, will you? Roll a persuasion check. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on, Use baby. your style point. Wait. Persuasion? <laughs> no! Why, why do I have a negative on that? I don't know. <clears throat> Oh, it's because I have a negative eight charisma. charisma. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's right. That'll probably do it. Do it. Yeah. That, well, that explains it perfectly. <laughs> I just thought I didn't. <laughs> you do it. You're the most persuasive. Yo, negative charisma gang. <laughs> you use like 90% of the persuading I receive on a day to day <laughs> basis. <sighs> I was going to ask you to stay in here just as long as it took for, An uh, uh, for Agnes to. Finish up what he's doing, and then once he's convinced that you're all not here to pose any major threat to us, I was going to make a case for letting you out. He's not going to, like, dissect Niccolo or anything, right? Because, like, I'm mad at him for not knowing what a Nintendo is, but I want him to live. No, I don't think so. I think that he has a vested interest in keeping Niccolo alive, actually. Oh, okay. It's good. I tell you what. For reasons nobody's allowed to come in here, and the room is also sealed off. He, like, looks towards the door as if worried that somebody might be listening then back to you. Let's say... You just stay in here. We don't have to put you in this thing, but stay in this room until it's over. I'll tell people you're inside. I suppose that's better. Credo's such a cool guy. Is there secrets in here? Is that why people aren't allowed in here? No, it's pretty boring. Ah! <laughs> If you could just like, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. cool. You'll be locked in still. Well, all right. It's a, it's a leg. It's a, it's a, it's better. Yep. Okay, if you leave us in here long enough, we're gonna go all Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> I don't know Which what that I means. I have seen. I don't but think no. I was there for that one. I would That's... conveniently forget parts of this movie. Does Credo know <laughs> Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> he doesn't seem to have any major reaction to the to the reference. <laughs> Good, he won't <laughs> expect it. <laughs> All right, if you guys could just go ahead and uh, run around the corner, keep yourself hidden while I leave. So if anyone looks in, they don't uh, see you. Then okay. Cool. Can my cat like walk around? No. Uh, I don't trust your cat. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at his face. Guys, walk around the corner. You see that there is a long, mostly dark metal hallway that just ends abruptly in a dead end. Doesn't seem to be anything really down there of note. Stupid hallway, no secrets. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of hallway doesn't have secrets? Actually. Check out the wall. It's like an elevator without a fight. <laughs> you've done, you've done no the worst sense. thing possible to these two. You put them in a room with nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> he turns uh, and he puts his hand on another scanner. Door unlocks. He walks out, closes behind him. You hear the sound of an airlock effectively going off behind him, leaving you guys alone in the Mostly, uh, the, the central area where the large containment unit is, is lit, but the hallway is not. I check out the wooden pallets. Uh, they seem to have just been wooden pallets that were shoved off to the side. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was my one in. <laughs> Marile and Nicolo. You oh, see God, the music. <laughs> <laughs> you see him return back to where you are. The other two not in tow. I hit a boss music. What did you do to them? Oh, music, you want to calm down a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> he comes over to you guys, stops, turns toward you relatively nonchalantly. Okay, they've been seen too. You guys ready? 
I'm gonna take you to meet Agnes. Of course, sir. I should let you know, Niccolo. Most people within the Order are not privy to knowing that Agnes is uh, a member of our organization. He's been seen around, but we have strict orders to keep him secret. He's in charge of several projects that common soldiers are not allowed to know about. Everybody here is sworn to secrecy. I need the two of you to also do the same. There will be no talk of him outside of uh, those present here, sir. Hmm. He nods. He turns. He leads you down the path that uh, had been open before. As you step in, you see the floor is a metallic grate. It's like a mesh. You can see it, there's about two feet of blank space underneath it. Uh, as you walk in, the first thing that you notice is there are lines of large uh, tubes filled with a slightly luminescent green liquid inside of them that go from the ceiling uh, down to the floor. And inside of each one of them, there's about... You, by, by your count, uh, as you can see, there's about 14 of them in the room. Why is there combat music in this soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> That's, uh, so I didn't heads. mind the spooky music, but like... <laughs> Alright. Credo attacks! <laughs> oh! The music dictates Logan's DM. Yeah. I don't have plans. I do whatever feels good yeah. with the tone. Yeah. <laughs> You meet a kindly shopkeeper who pulls out a sword and attacks! <laughs> <laughs> Get better playlist slogan! <laughs> Time to die, Kale. <laughs> Alright, but for a one shot, that sounds kind of amazing. Yeah, I was gonna say, for like an, that one game, just having a game where it's like free association based on whatever a random playlist plays is kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, there's about 14 of these pods, and you see floating inside each of them. There appears to be the inert body of one of the Tundra Hellites, one of the uh, emaciated-looking demons that you've dealt with several times. Uh, just suspended oh. bubbles coming up from underneath them. They appear to be completely inert. The glow that you're used to coming from the cracks in their skin and their eyes uh, is not present. These are, uh... Well, you... Probably have encountered them out there, yeah? Mm. There's samples that Credo wants to. I'm, I'm Credo, that Agnes wants to bring back. <laughs> it's true, sir, you are. <laughs> Shut up, that didn't actually happen. <laughs> COVID brain, leave me alone. <laughs> it, uh... Why is this uh, necessary, sir? Our order has long studied demon kind. In a mu manner much deeper than you probably suspect. The methods that we use to hunt them and keep the world of man safe are derived from our knowledge of them. And the higher ups, such as Lord Sanctus, Agnes, are interested in understanding exactly what separates us from demons. He seems to look at these with a kind of morose look on his face, but not one of revolt, just one of dissonance, as if as if he's repeating words he's heard before, but not ones that he fully believes in. As he does, he turns over towards Marile people like you get to walk in both worlds, which is concerning for us. But I suppose you're the kind of link that we're researching. Oh. Hybrids. That's what Agnes is interested in anyways. People like you. People like the children of Sparta. If that was the case, sir, how come I was sent to kill Malile? Because studying you does not require you to remain alive. 
and there would have been retrieval that would have happened afterwards. From the position that you were in, you didn't need to know what was going to happen in the aftermath. Mm. I see. That research has been suspended for quite some time, though. Uh, like, sighs actually like a bit of relief going across his face. <laughs> My understanding of the events that we are trying to work towards, we've realized that we don't need just any half-breed. We need ones of specific blood. So we've mostly given up the search that would have led us to people like you, Marile. Which is why I'm not going to try to press for the order to keep hunting you. What a relief. Luck was on my side that day. Looks at Niccolo. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, it's not. Oh. oh, you go ahead. You go ahead. It's not like I didn't walk out with absolutely nothing. I benefited in a way or another. Mm. I should note as well, just for situational awareness, there are other Order of the Sword members around. There's one monitoring what appears to be a console that was between the doors, and there are a couple others that seem to be guarding the entrances and exits. The reason why Agnes is so excited to see you, Niccolo, is you might represent a certain branch of our research that we thought had died out. Uh, how so, sir? Until he tells you about it, I'm not entirely authorized to expand on that thought. What? I do not understand, though. You are my... You were the one who sent me on all of my missions and was the one who was over me, were you not, sir? I was. You were part of an experiment you weren't aware of. <laughs> I knew about it, but back then it was on a need-to-know basis. I only knew as much as I had to. I, th I believe Agnes intends to inform you of the rest. Uh, hmm. He turns. Starts walking. Goes around the corner. As you go, there would be the other ones that I had mentioned that would be accounted for. The remaining pods. Two more Order of the Sword members guard a set of metallic doors. You note the pathway in this room seems to go around and uh, circles a central room. There's like a hallway surrounding a central uh, rectangular room that he leads you to. Going up to it, he pushes open the doors. A sickly green light escapes from inside of it. Marile, I'm gonna have to ask you to wait out here. That's what I was asked to tell you anyways. Niccolo, you're wanted inside. If you want to defy that and go in, you can. That's just what I have to tell you. You just have to deal with him. <laughs> how, bad, how bad could he be? <laughs> he gives the most insincere <laughs> smile you have ever seen. Well, hand on shoulder because what's personal boundaries? You... I will have you know that I have dealt with many a kind of man from the most sane to the weirdest. The weirdest. By the way, my card. Also. <laughs> so I think I will be fine. I didn't get how didn't get as far as I have without knowing how to make my way around some men. I think and the music women. Disagrees. <laughs> Fucking the test me, speakers! <laughs> Shoot some speaker. <laughs> An order of the sword member checks. They don't have their headphones plugged into their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit, is that playing a left? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> We're all not so different after all. <laughs> <laughs> if only they knew how similar they were. He steps to the side, puts his hand out, beckons you to go in. You, are, do you plan to stay with Niccolo? Yep. She just struts on past. 
she just he just watches as she goes in just like gives a bit of a smile goes in right after with a shrug to uh to credo <laughs> as you go in the doors close behind you there are three order of the sword members in the room two of them appear to be working on a large um set of equipment there's all kinds of screens consoles set up you can't read what any of it might possibly be about you see a lot of them seem to have screens that have what look like wavelengths on them but of what you can't tell it's all not that you were unaware that the order of the sword was highly scientific this is a level of uh, machinery that you've never encountered when you were on fortuna um this is this is science fiction level compared to the uh more spell jammery sort of feeling you're used to from back on the island as you go there, you see the main thing in the room is there is a large apparatus at the end of the room that is uh, has is a large crescent piece of machinery that um, almost looks like a... It's a large semicircle that has a hollow space in between. As soon as you step in, the doors close behind you. You feel this almost like static electricity run up your body. The hairs on the back of your neck stand up and you feel slightly uncomfortable, slightly like you're charged as soon as you're inside. You can hear the static hums of various pieces of equipment, and you notice that the floor, while the grating is still underneath, metal plates exist on it now that prevents you from seeing down underneath into the uh, grating underneath the floor, unlike outside. As you step in, there is a moment where you simply take in the electronics, and then you just hear a very quiet, drawn out, but at the same time pronounced the old guard. We meet again. As you see, one of the Order of the Sword members, who had been sitting in a chair, their head seemingly buried in a console, slowly roll back in the office chair that they're in. They stand. You see this figure stands at about six and a half feet tall, but their body is in a partial state of being constantly slouched that gives them a slightly shorter appearance. Their hair is mostly swept off to the side. It's a very dark, almost black, brownish color. Uh, a messy uh, ponytail on the back keeps most of it contained. Their outfit looks to be similar to the outfits of those around them, except that they have uh, black gloves on. They have a clipboard they hold close to their body, and their outfit looks more like that of a researcher, of, of, um, of a scientist. As they stand, their oddly large frame sets them apart from the others, and as they turn to you, you see they have this uh, singular monocle that is run up to uh, one of their eyes. For being a researcher, fairly heavy, um, brawny-looking frame, as you see, skull notwithstanding, this individual turn as if skulking oh. towards you. Amiko. <sighs> Agnes, sir, I presume. You know my name. You had Of course uh... you would have been introduced to it when you were out there. <laughs> I, 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 I should, should, shouldn't be surprised. Welcome. He walks very slowly towards you. There's like a part of me that's just like I think he introduced himself on the plane. <laughs> but no, no, I I recognized his voice on the on the on the helicopter. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and who is this that's with you? This is uh my Mo Molly This is Molly At a glance, it's so evident what you are. I don't believe I saw you last time. When I saw you from above, I only saw the armor. And you, it's good to make your acquaintance in person. He quick, his movement becomes somewhat more sudden as he shuffles towards you and puts a hand out. At first it seems to be out towards you, Niccolo, but then you can see that his hand is contorted at a weird angle. He seems to have put a hand out to shake Marile's hand in particular. 
It is an honor to meet one like you. <laughs> Likewise, magnificent scientist. Senor Agnes? Shakes his hand. I am an old acquaintance of Nicolas, though he may not remember. He turns to you, Nicolo. Very... His movements keep deviating between being very sudden and then very slow and controlled, as if these minor fits of energy come over him. Do you remember? Uh, I... There was a slight um, remembrance whenever I first talked to you before, sir. But I do not remember much. We would have done our best to remove your memories of the operations that we were forced to do. But back in Fortuna, I have a lab. Not... D d not different than this. As he turns, he puts his hand out. But much bigger. Much more impressive. Where I try to elevate you to be like her. Um... Excuse me. To infuse demonic energy into humans and bridge the gap. But, but, but it failed! He suddenly turns. And all of those that we tried, all those we sent out to be exposed to, to demonic energy, to try to hasten their evolution. They, he puts a hand up and makes a motion as if crushing something in the air. Burnt out. We thought they had all died. But I had never thought that the one who got away that you would not have been snuffed out. Tell me Niccolo, what is it like to have demonic blood running through your human veins? Uh, How does it feel? You see him take a pencil, flips one of the pages on, on his uh, clipboard as if about to take notes. Please, tell me everything! That... I... Sir, are... Are you sure there is not some kind of mistake? I do not feel different at all. I, uh, I, I believe, especially with everything happening right now, I'm, I just feel hu human. You see, it's upper lip curls back sneers when you say human you are more than that you are more than human what do you mean you don't feel different uh, per perhaps it is because my m memories are wrong sir I no I we would never have changed or affected anything after you abandoned us, after you fled. Your memory should be fine. Are you sure you don't feel anything? You should be... better than us. You should be... The successful results of trying to bridge the gap, of trying to achieve demonic power as a human. How could you not feel it? Marile just kind of steps in front of Niccolo and like puts an arm in front of defensively. I can assure you, Doctor, that he is as normal as normal comes. Right. 
fine. And perhaps the demonic power you've been ha harboring, perhaps its potential has simply not been drawn out yet. But you are alive. And that is more than can be said of any of the others that came before you, of those that you fought beside, that we deployed with you, of the old guard, those suffused with the divine blood of demons. You're the only survivor. You have to show results. Uh, but, uh, perhaps it is because I have not shown results that I yet live, sir? Tell me, why did you come back? To seek a uh, safe haven for my friends and to uh, get through this, this, uh, this storm out here, sir. He's like, again, just like Niccolo's like visually just like, uh, right now. <laughs> so you wish to find safe haven with us again? Yes, sir. Then surely you will indulge my whims while you are under our kick care. He almost as if bowing steps back to the side and puts his hand out to the very large machine at the end of the room. I wish to take your vitals. If there is a difference in you that sets you apart from a regular human, I must know. Get in. Looks to Marile. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps, uh, perhaps you should meet back up with em Emmanuel, Marile. No, there is no reason why I cannot stay and observe. And while he is doing that, you can ask me any questions. If there is anybody who knows Nicolo more than anybody, it would have been me, after all. Oh, I plan to ask you a great many things. A great many. But, cool. seeing the results <laughs> of my former experiments is far, far more imperative than beginning new ones. I don't plan to, to do anything untoward to either of you if that is what you're worried about. I know I can come across as intense, but I have nothing but the best intentions. Oh no, trust me. Intensity is a trap. <laughs> Gives like a partial like eyebrow furl and head shake at you with it. Like he doesn't say anything, but he gives a very what? look. <laughs> Nicola, Nicola's just like looking and there's like that meme of like the guy of like the the guy like, throwing the like, curve balls. like what? He's just throwing <laughs> curveballs <laughs> Anything to get him off Nicolo for just like a second <laughs> So he's not so freaked out uh, You're right sir uh, It's just vital so I, If you would Yes, answer any questions that he might have, Marile. And, uh, I'm sure it won't take no time at all. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the equipment here was prepared with the intention of scanning any demons we may have found. But it will serve to see if there is any difference between you and one of them. And by that, I mean an overlap. And if you are, he like goes behind you, curls his fingers up around your shoulders and starts leading you towards it. And if we do find a difference, you should know. 
You will have meant that research into finding a new breed. While I've taken its first steps, you will be the first of a generation within the Order who is closer to Sparta than any who came before them. Isn't that... wonderful? Yeah! <laughs> he leads you over to it. Assuming nobody does anything to stop him. Puts you in the middle of that semi-circular section of machinery. As you get close to it, you see there's various bits that appear to be glowing with this arcane, almost demonic energy. As he puts you in it, he grabs onto two handles that are on the side of it and pulls the rest of the semicircle closed. These uh, glass doors clang together and you see him take a latch that's on one of them and pull it over the other. There's the sound of an airlock tightening as the, uh, effectively the tube that you're now in seals. And he takes several steps back, but before he does, he puts his hand against the glass and looks at you for a moment with this insane, fond look of adoration. Thank you for coming back. Pulls his hand. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls his hand off, takes a step back, and as he does, he strikes a piece of machinery that's behind him, and you see this field of light appears. You can see through it, but effectively, this barrier of light runs across the room, separating the section with that from the rest of it. A precaution in ca case we uncover something that is dangerous. He looks over towards Marile very vindictively. You understand, I'm sure. Of course. Though I believe wholeheartedly that if anything were to happen, Nicola wouldn't hurt me. Oh. <laughs> she just smiles at him. He has a weirdly nervous look, like he doesn't really know how to respond to that for a second, looks to you, then to like another order member in the room, and just has this, oddly, for how controlled and deliberate he's been, he has this, just this moment of uh, a lack of direction. Uh, probably <laughs> not. You can tell now when you look at me, Bella, what I am. <laughs> I could tell from the moment you came in. Wonderful. Then you should know then. He would never betray me. <sighs> <laughs> So no matter what happens, I'll be fine, Doctor. He gives you a confused, somewhat despondent look and turns his head away and returns to sitting at the machinery that he was at before. Nicolo! Uh, yes, Doctor. Try not to move around too much. Okay. I need you to remain as still as possible. Y yes, sir. He begins operating the machinery. This faint charging hum begins to light up as small little sensors begin to light up inside the machine that you're in, Nicolo. You feel the air thicken. 
it becomes very, uh, it's almost like you're swimming for a moment. Like, it's difficult to move around. You can, and, like, it wouldn't require you to, like, it's not, you're not worried about it, like, holding you in place, but it feels like air pressure is pushing inward and making it hard for you to, uh, to move or to resist any kind of movement that you make. <laughs> the pressure changes. I think anime noises in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pressure changes. The lights seem to flicker on and off randomly. You see small ones begin to scan you. At one point, you feel as if the air pressure like pulls one of your limbs out to the side. Not in a intensely aggressive way, but it seems to be repositioning you slightly as if the, uh, the pressure inside was prodding you. Was examining you. As if it was physically uh, taking note of the, the shape of your body, tension of your muscles. You see bits scan your eyes. The whole process takes a while. Madile, is there anything that you would like to do? Well, if, we, if we were to say it would take about 20 minutes or so, is there anything that you would want to do in the meantime? Um, nothing in particular. This looks like a boring man lab. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> unless I can fall. Unless I can find a chair to Dumb, sit on, there's, there's even there's even just the slight temptation to sit on his lap just to be a, <laughs> just to be a little shit. Is that what you do? <laughs> yeah, just like I'm sorry, is this seat taken? And then just I'm, plop on the lap. As you do, Imagine. his hands just go up, and there's a moment of confusion from him as he's like, "What, what, what, what um, are you doing?" I'm sorry, there's no chair for me to sit on, and it's I nice and comfy. I'm busy. He abruptly oh. shoves you off of him. Ah. Aww. <laughs> if you're going to be disruptive, wait outside. <sighs> the floor is fine too, but I'll make sure not to touch your toys. Do not hurt her. I wouldn't dream of it. She is, after all, an ally to the cause. As are you. Aren't you, Niccolo? Yes. Hmm. It seems you've brought a devil arm back with you as well. Like, looks to his cloak. <laughs> Where did you get that? A powerful demon was fought, and we secured it from it. What sort of abilities does that possess? What sort of demonic powers has it bequeathed upon you? Movement through shadow, uh, different uh, kinds of uh, sight, I guess. Oh, wait, no, that's the that's the um, the glasses that give me the sight. Oh well, he says it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you are different. I knew it. I knew it! <laughs> he stands up relatively suddenly, enough that the chair just falls back, walks over, hits a switch again, turns off the light, and he presses himself up against the glass. You feel the pressure inside beginning yeah. to dissipate. As he gets close to you, his fingers splayed on it. You are! You're different! You're not a human! I knew you weren't! <sighs> it worked. I don't know why it hasn't awakened yet, but you possess the power of a human and of a demon. You should be able to awaken it. Try. T try? Try! I, uh, I don't know what you want me to do! As you say that, he pulls back one of his hands and slams his fist into the glass. Do it! <clears throat> you are the bridge. You are what our order has been working towards. You are the next step 
towards what Lord Sanctus wants. Prove to me. Prove my research was a success. Do it. Believe me, if I was special, I wouldn't be working delivery. You are special. You are the most special person in this room. The mind of a human. The conscience of a fallible of a human. The intelligence but mixed with the power of a demon. You are so much more than you think. Do you I'm... not think, Doctor, that there is no way to trigger it? An emotional response? A state of shock? Right. He slowly pulls back. Niccolo, from inside the glass, before he turns, you see his eyes, they go sort of down as he goes into thought. Then they just slowly and inquisitively go back up. He quickly, like, looks off to the side as if looking in Marile's direction, then back at you, and then, not in a... I mean, everything he does is sinister, but not in a deliberately sinister <laughs> not way. Not in a more sinister yeah, way. Not in a deliberately, in a, in a, in a, in a not so deliberately way, sinister way. His face curls back into a somewhat optimistic smile. He turns back over towards Marile. Maybe that's... Maybe that's the way to go. We'll have to put you up against something... That causes an emotional response, a survival mechanism. He starts writing on the clipboard he has. As he walks away, he makes a motion to one of the Order of the Sword members who begins operating machinery. The glass, the uh, latch on the glass doors in front of you unlatch. And they pull back away, letting you out, Niccolo. <sighs> Immediately just gets out of there, like, duh. <laughs> She's gonna she's gonna make her way towards him. As you rush to Niccolo, Agnes walks forward and kind of just walks by you without thought as you pass by him and rush towards Niccolo. And you reach him. Nothing stops you. See, that wasn't so bad now, was it? I just I liked you. You hit the ground pretty hard. <laughs> Thankfully, I've got enough cushion to keep me supported. Of course you do. <laughs> <sighs> I do not know what you see in that doctor, but I am I am not uh, against checking more things out. I'm here for the long run after all, right? Right. I will try to th think of a appropriate trigger to try to awaken the demonic power that is inside you but in the meantime you have proven to me he like points the pencil that he's writing with at you proven to me that a human body in the right conditions can hold the power that we're looking for that's enough for now Just take, take your, take your time, Doctor. You, we, we want to do this right, right? Right. We wouldn't want to take any unnecessary risks, would we? Yeah. <laughs> you have given me He's a like, lot. He's like, I have to... never been more uncomfortable with a man in my entire life. <laughs> He's you, just like, Ugh. You have given me much to think about. He again, with an almost theatrical bowing motion, motions towards the door. You may return to the others. Thank you, sir. And till we see each other again. <sighs> you will like 
upon like you know being being with Marley, just like put hands on shoulders, starts leading her toward the door. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Doctor. See you soon. <laughs> As you go to the door and try to unlatch it, you find it doesn't open. You can't see any sign of a lock, but it remains in place. <laughs> and you just see him, as you struggle with for a moment, you just see him look to him like, oh, My apologies. He reaches and clicks something on his wrist, and you see the door just open slightly. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, goodbye, Ken. <laughs> Steps out. <laughs> as you step out, you step by Credo, who's continuing to wait. Uh, as you do, he looks towards Marile in particular, and his eyebrows raise with an incredibly <laughs> deliberate told-you-so <laughs> sort of look. Oh, he was fine. <laughs> Has the door shut behind us yet? Nope. <laughs> okay, he's just gonna he's just gonna keep standing at attention as well as he can. <laughs> <laughs> you can see your way back to the others, right? Yes, sir. Uh, should we uh, go to pick up uh, Manuel or Gino on the way? I'll go get them mm. and send them back to you in a minute. All right. Mm. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm, let's go. <laughs> as, you, as you head off and you head out, and the slow, metered footsteps of Agnes see him out of the room, and just as you're about to exit and leave through the doors, you hear the faint echo of just the words, Credo. <laughs> it is as we head And then you leave your shot. Ew. Tries not to <laughs> exclaim immediately because he knows that there's more of the sore members right there. He's like, let's just go back. Let's just go back. And Arden, see and, our friends. Arden and Theo, what are you guys up to? The others are <laughs> being thrown into a jail, a big containment unit, being experimented on, and then we just cut to you two just like loafing on the couches, just starving. Have any fleas? <laughs> okay. <laughs> as soon as they left, and as soon as the door was locked again, Theo gave it like 30 seconds, and then she ran back to the boxes and started just pushing them over trying to get to whatever the fuck the female statue was, because she's got to know. As what you... are you looking at? The statue! Oh, There's a statue back there. I don't know if it's like one of the goddess statues, but I gotta know. They told me not to, so now I have to know. Can I can I see it from like the little space that she's already made? As you continue pushing them out, I'd say you'd have enough time that you push them through and you reveal what does look at a glance to be a standing from the yes. bottom of the, uh, from the floor to the ceiling, what appears to be a god, um, it is a goddess statue, but it's a bit different than usual. Okay. Instead of holding the large hourglass on its shoulders like it normally does, uh, there are what look to be a series of other individuals, also statues, along its base that are reaching up towards it, reaching up towards the... Uh, cupped and outstretched hands of the statue and you can see the uh, the test of the goddess face that normally appears that you would normally make contact with to initiate the tests uh, normally the one that appears like as mercury it is evidently there it is in the hands of this statue as if being offered to these clamoring smaller individuals but it is not made of the same flowing mercurial material that it normally is. It appears to just be made of stone. Hmm. Huh. What do you think that means? I have no idea. Maybe... Maybe the ones at the bottom are like people like us who are like, give us the test and make us strong and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Uh, probably shouldn't go 
we probably shouldn't go about touching it uh until the until the others are back right probably probably i kind of want to touch it though don't you oh i really want to touch it i know <laughs> what if i just mm. wait because we have like a choice when it's like fucking when we boop it there was like a choice to do it, right? Ah, uh, I don't remember. It's been many a month in my brain space. <laughs> God, I move it's slower me for us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are given a choice when you find the test of the goddess. Thanks. Cool, thanks. That's what I thought, but it's been a moment. <laughs> so okay. I guess we could touch it. Yeah, we could touch it. Hmm. Just curious what, what the uh, the statues on the bot at the base of it represent. Yeah. I guess. Can I roll like some sort of history or religion check? Just kind of maybe get an idea from that. Uh, you could roll a history check, and I would tell you what you might glean from it. Okay, I will do so. Two nat 90. Yes. Oh, no, that's an 18. Never mind. That was close, though. Was close. So, <laughs> these tests have been known to each be a little bit different. They've been in different places. Sometimes they initiate a little bit differently. Sometimes they make the war you take you to a different place. Sometimes they change the environment around you. Um, you, by this point, understand that whatever the setup for this is, it's different appearance. There's no precedent for it. But you, you assume it probably has something to do with the nature of whatever this test of the goddess is. Gotcha. If it okay. is one. You, you, you come to the conclusion that, like, well, if it's different, that probably means it, something about its rules tie into this. Mm-hmm. Okay. From what I, from what I can gather... It, thanks, God. Yep, yeah, thanks, God. Uh... It probably has something to do with just the actual test itself. Oh. Has something to do with it. Okay. What it specifically means. Nah, I can't rightly gather until we're actually in there. Oh. Which we should wait until the others come back. If they come back, hopefully they come back alive. Hmm, yeah. If we touch it, do we usually get like the like the name of the challenge or something? Uh, no, you usually just get the voice of the goddess giving you a a cryptic line about vaguely what it will entail. Uh, you giving you instructions that are meant to be as confusing as they are uh, elucidating, mm -hmm. um, gotcha. and usually a moment where it confirms that you can either you know press usually press your fingers harder into it to accept the challenge mm -hmm. or not. Gotcha. Uh, I'd like to touch it. As you walk over to it, what are you touching, specifically? Uh, I guess the... Um, you said the, like, the bait, the main statue's got, like, the... Uh, it's hands cupped. Yeah. Right? Like, cupped as if it's, like, as if it's cupping, mm -hmm. like, water in its hands and offering it to yeah. them, but instead of water, it's the... a stone relief of that mur uh, mercurial face. Mm-hmm. I'll touch that. You do? And nothing happens. Hmm. That's not okay. good. Uh, I touched that thing. Didn't work. I touched one. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. how many mini statues were there? There are six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I figured out what to touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely feel like if I touch it, we are playing the game. <laughs> what do you mean? <clears throat> what? I, uh... I don't know, this is just a feeling I get, but... I feel like if we touch one of the mini statues there... It'll start. Ah. Uh. I could be wrong. I could be horribly wrong. And if we touch it, it'll just give us the normal spiel. 
and we just have to press further into it to to accept it. But I'm also getting the feeling like if we if we touch it at all, we certain we're we're just going in. We boop it and we booped in. Yeah, I don't know. I could be wrong. Could be could be totally off base, but I don't know. That's just a feeling. Credo seemed like really annoyed, always like don't touch that, you know. So right, like don't move those. So they're they're hiding this thing for a reason. Maybe they're yeah, like they are. Cause, um... maybe some of their other order members touched it and they went to, went in and never came back out. Don't we like pop out though when we die in there? Yeah, we do. Well. Yeah, but if you win, maybe. That's true. We've never lost. <laughs> yeah, no, we've never lost. So. Fuck. Maybe that's mm. what like the stone people at the bottom mean. Is like those are all the people that have died inside. They become part of the mm. statue. Maybe. Oh no. Not entirely. Not entirely convinced of that. But... No, it's just a theory. Mm. A game theory. A statue theory. A statue theory. Or a game theory. theory. Mm -hmm. Thanks for know. watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay, well, let's let's keep that in mind. Um, yeah. All right. Let's I checked the office over that. there. There's nothing else. Nothing really in there. I even checked for secret compartments, but there's nothing. It's really? just a communal office. That's so boring i know what kind That's... of office doesn't have secret compartments there's a door it's right just... there yeah there's right. also we haven't checked in there right in here Correct. and we haven't checked yeah. over there all right I'll go over here wander yeah. on over i'll join you okay you go over there there is a door in front of which there appear to be iron bars closed keeping it closed there are iron bars on the other side of the door? On the side you're on. And then on the other side of those bars, there is a door oh. that is closed. Ah. We move the iron bars. <laughs> Why don't prisoners think of that? Oh, there's a right? <laughs> prison gate in front of me? I move it. I move it. <laughs> no, they are. They are firmly... Uh, they are firmly locked in place currently. Ah, darn. Ah. You see that there is but a I'm locking... But I'm super strong. There is a lock... You can try to break it if you want to roll a, a strength check. You could try to... What if we each pull the side of the bars and try to open them with our Make big, like a, strong like an muscle. opening? <laughs> yeah! One of you roll strength with advantage. I will do so. Do it. Take the bars and push them somewhere else. You're left alone, oh, and you're like, well, time to vandalize everything possible. Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Have you met me? No, you don't manage to pull it open. <laughs> <sighs> These bears are not going anywhere. Well, neither are we, so... Yeah. Seems like it. All right, what's over Arnold here? stops for a moment. Are these made of fucking metal or something? <laughs> <laughs> what are these made of metal? <laughs> oh, how, how inconvenient. Walking down and going into that room, you the door is unlocked as you walk through. Uh, you see it appears to just be a large uh, conference room. There doesn't seem to be anything else really in there. Pretty bare bones. Is there a door there? Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. Look at this. Another door. Let's go through it. Yep. Here we hey, go. Door. This We're door exploring. <laughs> so you're the explorer. Uh, that just goes out into the hallway that leads back into the uh, <laughs> the room you were just in. I think. Ah, there we go. All right. Okay, cool. Well, we've we've sufficiently explored everything here. <laughs> uh, Arden, you don't have dark vision, right? No. Right, so it's I... it, that that hallway is completely dark for you, Theo. This you is... can tell. So as far yeah. as you know, Arden, this is new new territory. Oh, this is a new area here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, let's keep going. You do see, no, no. Theo. You do see uh, beside a crate. There is a path leading down that would like circle back around to. Uh, close to where Emmanuel and Gino were taken. Oh, man. Oh, 
Mm. Okay. What's up? We have two choices. All right. So we're back. We're outside of the room they locked us in. I don't know how much you I can. I couldn't see. tell. Yeah, no. Hold my hand. Holding. I will know okay. if they left it unlocked when they left the second time. Uh, okay. <laughs> I thought they fucking locked us in. I'm Theo. I have five intelligence, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you came Those to the idiots. conclusion that they, they didn't lock us it, in, <laughs> then I would accept that. Yeah, that that's where her brain was. She's like, I I assumed they locked us in again. <laughs> okay. <idiots. laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> okay, so we could go down that way, and she'll point down this hallway. Where are you pointing? <laughs> You're she, in darkness. She'll grab his hand <laughs> uh -huh. and like like his free hand and like point it down the hall. <laughs> so this uh, way. Sure. Or we could go back into the room and pretend like nothing happened. Or we could go explore hmm. and do the thing we're not supposed to do. I really want to go explore, but I also want to not be dissected. You do hmm. see there is a source of light down there. You can, you, can, you can see oh. where they're pointing because there is light down there. There's just none immediately oh. around you. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, my bad. Okay. Hmm. Well, uh... Aaron, get back in game. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, that's Cody. <laughs> Cody, get back in game. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, meaning people, it says I'm still, it says I'm in game. It says you're disconnected, fam. Yeah. Uh, Fool. Let me see if I can roll. Hmm. We'll give it a bit to see if you connect back in. If we get back to you and you're not in, then you can log in and out. Right, I'll just do it anyway, because I just tried rolling and it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> it kicked me now. You All would right, see, hey. uh, you guys, down in the area where there's light, you would see Order of the Sword members casually walking around, so you would know that there's people down there. Ah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not okay. go that way. Right. Unfortunately. Ah, let's head back to the, yeah. I guess, their break room or something. I guess. Oh, I guess. Oh, well. Go back inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which way? He was like, no one has a room that's worse than, that's more boring than ours. Go well, she's going to assume that this door over here is locked. So she's going to go back the way it came. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm going on Fio Fio's. Do you close the doors thing. behind you? See. Si. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well. Mm. Nothing new, but you. hang out, I guess. Up to you, smarty brain. What are we doing? Uh, what do you feel like doing? I don't know. Just gonna lay down on the floor, like on the carpet, <laughs> and just stare at the ceiling. Want to heal? Yeah. Just gonna pick her up. There's a more what? comfortable place to be laying down. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick her Fine. up and drop her off the couch. <laughs> uh, you all right? Yeah. Hi. I don't know. I was just getting a. Uh, I don't know. You felt uh. Uh, seemed a little nervous or something earlier. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She'll just like. I stretch her arms out like up it's like look where we are these people we don't know what they did to Nicolo. they separated all of us and like i don't know i don't if they're doing like demony experiments i don't want anything to happen to you i'm like big target because me and like marile and gina we all i don't know don't want anything to happen to anyone. I'm not gonna let anything happen to him. I'm not gonna let anyone. Any anyone. Me too. Fall under what? A, what? <laughs> <laughs> not gonna let anyone fall under the th same thing I did. But like. <sighs> hmm. Can we really stop them? Are you big, strong enough to do that? Eh, yeah, maybe. 
We'll see. I hope so. But if uh, if they do, they do catch me, I'm not gonna give them a chance to. I'm, I'm giving it. I'm gonna give them hell. That's what I'll give them. Eternal demony. Yeah, if I have to. Fuck them up. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Rip them, rip them to shreds. I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Huh. Hmm. You want to learn some facts about cars? Yes. All right. Give me a second. Car facts. <laughs> Got a list here. Did you uh, know that my first ever car accident occurred in 1891? Huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a while ago, I think. Oh, it was, uh, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just like, what's in 1891? <laughs> yeah. What yeah. does that mean? <laughs> what's, it mean? what's it like now? Like, like, like four o'clock? <laughs> four o'clock? I don't know, man. No, that, like, the year. <laughs> uh, 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 did uh, you know the largest speeding fine ever produced was one million euros? It's from a guy in Sweden. Huh. How She's going 180 miles an that? hour. <laughs> wait. Okay, wait. All right. I don't understand what the fine is. Does or that mean like it's is. fine? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're starting at the top here. <laughs> the fine <laughs> going is going down now. of all the things you don't understand. <laughs> uh, you got caught some something doing bad, so you have to pay. Uh, you have to pay the government uh, money. In it's order to. Government. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel it's and It's the Gino. establishment, man! <laughs> Emmanuel and Gino. What would you All like? Alright, well, the pallets are dead. Uh, maybe if I check them again? Nope. After everything, they're still pallets. Gino, I'm bored. <laughs> Eric's on mute. And alone. <laughs> you know, oh. Whoops. Don't give me, don't give me, don't give me. <laughs> I slap him in the face. Wait, don't oh. do it. What the fuck? Don't do that was, to me again. I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I was just, just in, in thought, which is hard for me. So I was, it took all my concentration. Okay, I thought you were like sleeping or... Or dead or no, something. No, no, no. I'm here. I'm here now. Wait, uh, was I bored? <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm right there with you. I don't know what the fuck we're supposed to be doing here. Um, just kind of look, looks around the room. Try to, I can't... For some reason, I can't see... You gotta click on you. To the right. I, I still can't see to the right for some reason. No click on me. Yeah. <laughs> No, don't click on him. Oh, no, 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 click on me. I have dark vision. You don't. <laughs> click on oh, you. Okay. It's pure darkness for you, Mr. No Dark Vision. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. Mandy. That's why it's all spooky and gray. Yeah? <laughs> Can you? Hmm. You can't, like, make things invisible, right? Uh, uh-uh. Well, crap. Oh, no, that's not true. I can. I just can't <laughs> choose when I do it. <laughs> I see. Well done. I certainly don't want to blow the fuck up. Um. <laughs> he says through his fucking metal face. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> What's over? What's down this way? Nothing. Oh. Whole lot of fuck, fuck all. Yeah, it's literally gonna, an empty hallway. I'm gonna like peek around the corner, try to see out the door. Can I see anything? Oh, the door is solid metal. Oh, it's solid. Okay, never mind. Yeah, no, we're we're in like a vault. We're in a vault, and I have a revolver. <laughs> you ever seen that episode of Family Guy? Oh, where they're in a vault with a revolver. <laughs> <laughs> Uh 
Listen, no matter what happens, I'm not gonna shit myself, okay? Um, thank you. You're welcome. Um. <laughs> better remember, I chose not to. At, uh, at what point should we do, like, the little talky thingy? Oh, I, I can do that whenever. We might be, it might be like a Faraday cage, though. I don't know, it's kind of thick metal here. I'm gonna lightly kick the wall with my foot. So, like, it might not get out. Mm. And whatever that happens, I'm like, isn't this gonna just pop off? We're gonna start killing everybody? Or, like, are we gonna run away? Who, uh, who has. I really wasn't talking. paying attention. Is it a manual? I do. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Manual. Go ahead. Looking around. Hmm, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make a roll real quick. I need to determine if Gino's even thinking about this shit right now. I mean, I can get out of here easy. Probably, unless it's built like that thing, and apparently not even heckin' Virgil or Dante oh, can get out of wait it. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, did you have an idea? Did you do it? I'm looking around. All right. Just to look if there's any cameras. I'm with you. There are no cameras. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was worried we were being watched. All right, we we fill in two stuffed dummies that look exactly like us, and then uh -huh. we we carve a door out of that wall because it's dark and no one can see us over there yeah and then and, and then we we go back and that's all I've, that's all i got that's all i got i like i like it i like it i like all the right. plan oh, how are we dummies. gonna do that i could just make a dummy oh, i could yeah. just do that I mean, but yours looks all shadowy. Like, it looks like you, but it doesn't look like you like you. Hmm. You have no, I can't do that. It's true. There's another door right here. What does it look like? Does it look like it has a window in it? Same door. Same kind. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, unless we want to, unless we want to try making them out of those pallets, I don't think we're gonna get nowhere no well, there's nothing under him i'll tell you that much mm. wait a minute mm. i check under the pallets again but through my cat's eyes there's nothing <laughs> damn it <laughs> <laughs> all right they're just pallets <laughs> can your little kitty like leave this place no -uh. mm. still he's using the door I guess I can kind of poof them, but I don't know what that gets us. Also, he says that I'm, I'm not allowed to do that, and That's so they might shoot my cat. We don't want to upset them until we're ready to upset them. I don't know what the fuck we're doing, man. But I'm it gonna would be, be not you. boring. <laughs> it would be. It would be not checking under this pallet for a fourth time. <laughs> And to that end, I think it's kind of a good idea. Tito is just so mindlessly like, what do we fucking do? I want to see if I can poof Bastet through the wall. <laughs> you can. Okay, no. All right, I do so. What wall? Uh, the northern wall. How far are you poofing it? Uh, let's see. Um, uh, given the angle of the sun and the moon and the rules of five familiar, I think I can do it five feet. <laughs> <laughs> for the purposes of what we're doing, we'll use Manny for that. Bastet appears outside. Yeah, I'm going to stroll back to the room. After entering their senses, uh, as far as Gino sees, Manny goes catatonic. Oh, oh Manny, <laughs> you okay? And he, like walks up to him, like, "You okay? Hello? Oh no! Maybe he's touching <laughs> me. <laughs> what have I done? What? What? I can feel you touching me, but I can't hear or see you. Oh, okay." Well, I'll just, I'll shake you if we need to, if we need to, you know, nah. do the thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
I don't know what he said, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Yep, oh, it's a good one. I'm going to continue to what I was doing. <laughs> and I'm going to kitty walk my way back towards the room we were in. Manny! Doors locked. I'm going to, like, lift him up Our and, like, closed. pull him back to where we were behind the, the corner of the wall. And just kind of sit us down there. I'm going to do something real quick. So you would have been, like... So where are you moving him? I'm moving him, like, basically just where we were, behind this little corner right so here. right there? Yeah. Okay, we're going to say he's right there, for the purposes of what we're doing. Hold on. Cool. Ah! All right. Go ahead, Emmanuel. You know what that is. Uh, I will continue pawing at the door for a moment while I try and figure out how to get inside. It has that. I go over and I open the door. You see the cat form of Bastet. The fuck? <gasps> Imani? Hello. Man. Yep, it's a money. Money? It's money. He can poke through you... his cat. Why are you a cat? He I can am poke so it. bored. Oh my Where god, so are are What what are they doing to, what are they doing to you? I wanted a thing to keep Virgil. Wait, what? What? Yeah. I think they met him. I don't think Dante can teleport. I'm pretty sure I'd know that. <laughs> Okay, but All right. who's Gino? Uh, okay? he's, he's with me. He's holding me. He keeps... I think he moved me. I'm not sure. You, you're you a very confusing little boy. Okay, but what's about Marine and Nico? Well, I'm going to go find him. Uh, I mean, they're, sure they're guards. Uh, they're guards know. are all over the place. What are they going to do? Shoot a cat? Yes. They might shoot Pretty me. Sure that's a war crime. They might shoot me. I mean, of course they'll shoot you. You have a gun, Lance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you can... I guess you can go exploring. If you find right. anything, uh, come back to us. So what are you guys doing? I'm yeah, just hanging out. <laughs> oh, we found, a, we found a statue. Yeah, it was like a statue of the goddess, but it's, like, weird. And there's, like, mm -hmm. other people... Like, there's, like, statues of other people, like praying i guess or like grabbing at like uh the big lady statue and there's not like the liquidy stuff that we normally touch in it it's like made of rock mm -hmm. and we're thinking that if we touch one of the small ones it will start the test so even though we really wanted to we didn't touch the the little ones because we didn't want to start the test without everybody because what if we both die in there and nobody wins, and we're stuck in there forever, and then we're fucking dead. Don't do that. So, yeah. So we thought yeah. we should wait for everybody. That's all you're doing. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Oh, all right. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, well, that was weird. Where are you that going? Was go back to making out. Uh, no. uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. Where's my dice? Uh, wait, I have digital dice. <laughs> I need you dice that uh, you don't use so much. Evens left, in. odds right. Odds, I'm going right. Alright, point to point where you're going. That way. And I will go until I encounter anything of interest or of, of danger. Coming down to here, you see down, you see um, the order of the sword members that you witnessed before when you were. Going into the other room, you see several of them hanging out down there. Meow. <gasps> Meow. 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 I will, I will kitty skulk my way by. Roll me a stealth check for your cat. Alright, let me find a cat sheet. Uh, NPC. Cat. Thirteen. Let me check the passives of the people that you're trying to sneak by. <clears throat> do, do they have a negative five on their passive perception because they're in darkness? <laughs> <laughs> There's light down there. 
<laughs> I am going to throw some things on the map. You're gonna throw things? What the fuck? Calm down. No. Ah. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. so angry. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. I can tell. Yeah. Ridiculous. Pow. Ah. Ah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I lost my temper there. Whoa. Like, whoa, man. Just. Cool. So I'm just gonna go Break ahead and out. reveal where all of these guards are. Oh, uh, why are they red? They're not enemies. He's got a thing. weapon. Get him. No, no, he's just picking my nose. He's picking his nose. Get him. <laughs> so you pass by <laughs> Soldier 3 as you do. Uh, they just look down, and as you try to sneak around, as you get close to the ground and move, uh, try to kind of scoot past them, they just look down to you and just make very casual eye contact with the cat. <laughs> I do my best impression of Oliver and company, and I just fucking stroll by. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. He pulls out a gun and aims it at you. I said, hey. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to flee as a cat under whatever <laughs> this is. <laughs> hey, glowing cat, what are you? Where are you going? Oh yeah, you glow. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to try to shoot you. No! <laughs> no, I'm gonna. Uh, so I was gonna run. I know under this, whatever it is. Oh. it's a... Okay, they're not going to shoot you, because that is a fuel tank. As <laughs> <laughs> you run under it, that guard just gets down on the ground, puts his gun away, and just with the broadsword, just like, just sideways looking under, just like, hey, get out of there! What are you? Are you a demon? Hey! Hey! No. You see them get up, they walk away, and then they come back a couple seconds later just with a long metal pipe. And they get on their side. They start they walk like... away, as soon as they walk away, I bolt. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, where are you if bolting I see to? Any door that is open is the first thing I'm going into. <laughs> Anything that's open? If I don't see an open door, then whatever hallways I can get into. Uh, the only direction is that way, and... So, they're, all their passives are enough to see you with the roll that you made. Oh, God. <laughs> Is this about to go the worst way possible? I think it is. You, you get to about there and realize that there's really, really nothing to hide in or around or under. Ruh row. As you stop there, several of them all look towards you. Then you just see the other one run up, gun out, pointed at you. What are you? Explain it now. You have three seconds. Three. Now. Two. <laughs> All right. I am your god now. <laughs> They're gonna shoot the cat. <laughs> no! I am your god now. <laughs> Did Manny say that? What is yeah. you? What is <laughs> How is that even a question? <laughs> Cat's AC is 12. Well. Uh, Miss. <laughs> I, think a, I think a 26 hits. Aww. Jesus. Right, can he do two damage? <laughs> I, 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 no, let's roll for Let's be fair to Bastet. Can he do one damage? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this 13. <laughs> Get you. Frankly, two was too much. <laughs> they fire the bullet, which has this radiant glow. When they fire, you see this like radiant flash of light from the handgun they fire from. The bullet strikes Bastet. Bastet is destroyed. What the fuck? Did you, you hear something? You would snap back to your senses. <laughs> Mari and Marile and Niccolo. At about the time that you guys are exiting, you hear a gunshot. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Oh, oh no. 
I look over toward the Order Soldier 4 over here, see if he's doing anything, any reacting to anything. Uh, you see his hand is on his blade, uh, and they are they are looking over in the direction of uh, where the cat was. <laughs> what, what the hell was that? Something got in. A cat, I think. But it was like a ghost. It's like, alright, looks like it's gone now. Is it, uh, does that happen oh. often? No, never seen that before. It's dead now, though. Alright. <laughs> Inside head, like, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Trying to get you back to where you gotta be, my boy. It's okay. <laughs> Hey, a cat <laughs> appears right there. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this all day. I can do this all day. <laughs> the soldier lays like, all hour holstering their gun. They look towards the cat. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I mean, I mean, it's just a cat. It's a cat. You can see the order member opens his mouth and gets halfway through the sentence saying, and then stops because he clearly realizes what he's about to say, but then continues. But the sentence is, it's a cat that refuses. It's a cat that refuses to identify itself, ma'am. It is a, I repeat, sir, it is a cat. Scoozy, 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 scoozy. Uh, He's gonna, I'm gonna yeah. start having Niccolo go this way. And this yeah. cat is your god now. He's just gonna walk, just gonna walk up to this guard. Mi amores, you cannot be that rough with pussy. Kitty! Kitty, kitty! <laughs> kitty, Sorry, kitty, kitty! kitty. <laughs> oh uh, you know not the forces with which you contend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump at the cat and try to grab it. <laughs> No! <laughs> <Get down. laughs> roll me grapple versus acrobatics. Roll athletics, cat, please roll me which happened. What a man you roll you devil trigger you to avoid being caught by Nicola. I can't devil trigger well as the cat. Am I, am I, am I, uh, am I using athletics, you said? Uh, you have to use athletics, you're initiating. Uh, da, da, da. Does my does my little jump thingy give me anything? I guess not. Hiya! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> it scoots away. I, I, face the pl- I just face plant. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Emmanuel? I'm going Me? to my safety propane. <laughs> I, you just called out to Niccolo. That applies to you too, Niccolo. As, as you rush by, it will try the opportunity to attack you. The, the swords are well. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> they take out their caliber and they strike towards you. 16 hit. Yep. Why don't you, uh, uh, why don't you roll how does. many hit points this cat has? Max you four. speed. Well, <laughs> like, can you take, as you rush towards it, a blade comes up, you take 26 damage and the cat. Jesus. A cat appears what? right there. <laughs> <laughs> I grab the cat. I, me. I grab I, the cat. I don't, I don't. <laughs> I, 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 I know that Aiden heard me, but I, I don't know if you did, Logan. Oh, sorry? Whichever one, whichever one was trying to fire Marile was just like, now come on, sir, you can't be that rough with pussy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they would, like, take the swing at it, and then they would look up to you with just a baffled look on their face. I have it! I, I got it! <laughs> That's good, Trent. What is happening out there? This day. <laughs> I'm sure he's getting all the intel right now. <laughs> Soldier, what's your name? Uh, Cardigan? Uh, Cardigan, I'll find you. And I'll put my paw in your mouth. As I'm you gonna see. shoot you again! Don't do don't, it! Please don't! Please don't! Please. It no, really no, no. hurts! No, 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 don't, don't, sir, don't, sir. <laughs> I know like... something else you can shoot instead. What? Hmm? Oh, I don't understand, <laughs> man. Look, look, so, so, I'll take this. He, like, grabs the cat. I'll roll. also take this. Roll. He grabs You need to roll the grapple, because I don't think he's going to let you. Uh, I heard him say, ah, earlier, like, I grabbed him. Oh, okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. 
because that would have took me a second to get back into it. <laughs> you, so you just let it happen? Oh, well, because I would have had to spawn the cat and then it would have took a couple seconds for me to actually get into it. So he probably would have had the time to just be like, uh. All right, you got the cat. <laughs> I will take this. I tap the grab the cat. And I will take this. I will grab Mario. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I will make our way back. Come on, kitty. <laughs> As you rush over, Credo is by this point has made his way to the door and has opened the door. Gino, you hear the sound of the door to that chamber opening? I shake Benny violently for a couple <laughs> seconds. <laughs> What are you doing, Stomp? <laughs> I'm in the middle of a thing here. We're coming again! <laughs> Shall we pause in your soup this night? Pause us here! Oh my god. See Credo giving a somewhat perplexed, but... Uh... He's <laughs> like his hands on the scanner, but he's looking over towards the cat. That's the, uh, that's the cat that he has, right? That's the one I, I mentioned not letting, that I don't trust that cat. That's the cat. No? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> There's an explanation, sir. <laughs> you should get your friends and go back to the others. Yes, sir. <laughs> right away, sir. <laughs> Gino, I think the chicken's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I turn to the guys at the doorway. It's like, can I, can I retrieve my my friends, please? <laughs> Gino, do you come to the door? Yeah. Do you bring Manny? I, just, I have Manny like in my <laughs> arms. I'm like, I don't know what happened. He just, he just, he just, he's not listening to me. Plum tuck it out. I see. Oh, I was just having such a nice nap. Oh, it's a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing. <laughs> you have very violent naps. <laughs> so, uh, I have I'm nightmares. Very, I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. <laughs> Best, and how did you get out here? That's crazy. So did you give him anything to play with while he was in there? He got, uh, he must have got really bored. <laughs> uh, you don't happen to have a Nintendo, do you? No. Sorry. I, I, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> That's fair. <You> know. uh, <laughs> yeah. He looks to you with a somewhat perplexed look on his face. Clearly thinking about something else. Uh, Agnes and I have decided for the remainder of the operation that you are fine to keep out in the open. Oh, well that's great. That sounds, that sounds like a good decision to me. He must be some kind of cool guy. Yeah. He must be some kind of cool guy. <laughs> We'd like you to, uh... You seem like, look to the side and down a bit as if thinking. We'd like you to, uh, reconvene with the others and get ready for us to call upon you. We're going to move on the anchor soon. Uh, hey! Al already, sir. Well, uh... <laughs> looks over to you, Nicolo, and there is an odd look. <laughs> this duplicitous, like, biting of the tongue on his part. Yeah, we have decided there is reason to act quickly. I would like to incite this man. Do it. See if I would also, truthful. at that point, like to incite this man. I have not it. incited him this entire time, but... <laughs> Oh, that's pretty that's fucking great. Fucking sus. <laughs> he is acting with more purpose than he was before. He clearly has something on his mind, and he does seem like he's rushing you. To what end, you obviously can't read his mind. But he does seem like he... is... He's being overly encouraging compared to how like lackadaisical he was before about what he needed you to do. Right. Of course. Of course, sir. Uh, excuse us. Uh, 
Come on, everyone. Let's uh, get the others. Let's go. We'll be, aw Turn up. We'll be awaiting Fall your again, order. Manny. We'll be awaiting your order, sir. Yeah, okay. Bye, Cardigan. <laughs> yeah, later. <laughs> wow. Peace. Throw the card into the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> they can fight for it. <laughs> they can fight for it. <laughs> We come back into this hallway, there's just blood splatters all over the ground. Oh my god. It's like a severed arm attached that's holding the <laughs> like, fucking Like, goddamn, they are really fucking desperate. <laughs> the arm is holding the card. They've been the here card. for a while, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just hurriedly make our way back over toward uh, Fio and Arden. We're surrounded by a bunch of dudes that look exactly alike. Let's... <laughs> We're starved. <laughs> the moment you all expect me to get unique art done for every day <laughs> is the moment you're fired. <laughs> card again, art. Card again, art. No. <laughs> okay. All right. So what do you think about this whole sword inside my chest thing? Ah, uh, that's a that's a whole lot. That sounds inappropriate. Hello, we're back. Oh my <laughs> god, you're alive! It sounds like, it sounds like what Marilo does. What? Huh? I didn't catch what you what? said there, bud. Oh, I said that sounds that sounds like what Marilo does. <laughs> what? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> no swords and chests. Literal sword piece that's supposed to be inside me, and the, I was asking my best friend how he feels about the fact that I might be a sword. But what's up? I got <laughs> shot. Oh, no. Yes, you did. Why did you do that? I was bored. Ah. Welcome back. To Are you this. okay, bested? I hand him the cat. <laughs> oh, good kitty. <laughs> Sounds like y'all went through a lot. <clears throat> While uh, you were I here, think I've made a vendetta against somebody. Uh, that I yeah. sat in the room like while Manny? he flailed violently in my arms. That sounds like a thing you do, Manny. Yeah, you just started shaking me. I didn't know what you meant by it. Apparently, I'm a demon. What about you two? Anything? Half. The doctor what? said half. Wait, what? What? You two learn anything? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, we learned shit, but what? I. I don't. I don't know. Um, Apparently, Nicolo is the la is the sole survivor of an experiment of infusing demon blood with humans. Except the problem is that it hasn't been activated, and I think he's got an idea or two after what I said. I might be in danger. <laughs> well, also, they're apparently rushing us now. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we should probably touch those things that you didn't want to touch before. Yep. What? You want Th there's uh, a statue of a goddess over there, but it's like not normal. But it has like a bunch of like little statues on the bottom, like all looking up at the mm -hmm. lady statue, going ha, oh, kind of like reaching up towards it. And the normal like liquidy shit that we put our fingers in, it's stone. And we touched that, and that didn't do nothing. But we're thinking that if we touch the small ones, and you're then thinking that that is that is that is where is he? They hit his word. Um, General Credo told us not to go, correct? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> you want to touch it? I do. If we're going to touch it, now is the best time because it seems as if he is going to be coming to us very soon. Let lock the All door right, let's and get let's go. Get to touch it. There touching. are exactly six stat uh, little statues, too. So Ooh. that works out. Get uh. to touch it, Harden. <laughs> what? I said get to touching the statue. Oh, okay. Boop. Yeah. Get to touching. Nicolo just like w just like walking over defeated at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Let's touch the statue. It's okay. Yeah. I was also experimented on and put demon blood in me. I'm oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. No, it's don't not. Don't don't tell no, them that. Fine, but... <laughs> so like ah. if they did that to me, yeah. I could be more like Dante though, right? No, no. it'd be the opposite actually. I hear I hear Manny, uh, no. anyway. <laughs> All right. Touch. <laughs> it would Touched. totally be the opposite, actually, Emmanuel. What are you, you touching? 
the head of statue. one of the statues. Boop. Alrighty. You two both touch the heads of a couple of the smaller statues, and mm -hmm. nothing happens. What? Everybody touch the statue. Touch. Uh, I'll touch one. Okay, touch. Fine, touch. All right, everyone, yeah, combine your powers. No if nothing happens, then, then we get to just stand here awkwardly for a couple of seconds. Let me yeah. stand here and hold hands or something, I don't know. All right. That'd be nice. As you touch mm -hmm. each of them. What's the little orb thing that's usually there? <laughs> he just says that loud. So each of you is touching a different statue? Yeah. yeah. As you do, <laughs> each of the statues begins to softly glow with a different color. Green for Arden. Blue for Theo. Pink for Marile. Red for Niccolo. Yellow for Gino. And Bastet Aura colored for Emmanuel. Oh. Oh. Space colors. Space, Space colors. Space. <laughs> as you do. Space. As you do the <laughs> hand, the, uh, the, the face that normally you would touch, the one that is stone within the hand of the statue, becomes the usual mercurial liquid. Nice. Touch. You're touching it, Arden? Yeah. All right. You reach out towards it, and you touch it. <laughs> you hear no words in your mind, but you do become aware that you could accept this test of the goddess. You hear... Well, that's not true. You hear the faint words. Beware solidarity. Consolidate at your own risk. Hmm. Hmm. I accept. As you do. Battle Royale! Battle Royale! <laughs> <laughs> Don't be alone. The rest Don't of get you, together. the statues you're touching also take on a mercurial look. <laughs> Touch. Oh. Boop. As each of you, do each of you, like, Press your yeah. hands into them as you would normally with the test of the goddess. I'm not assuming you do unless you tell me. I do so. Yep. Yep. All right, as you do, Arden. Yeah. Nothing seems to change for you. Okay. Statue remains the same. Nothing happened. You take your hand off of it. The face ceases to be mercurial and it disappears. Did it not work? There was no response from anybody around you as for a second you turn and the others are all gone. Oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we got to roll new characters. <laughs> the guy, like, the freaking order of the word comes I in. I solved like, your I know puzzle, it looks like. Logan. <laughs> <laughs> I solved your kill my friends puzzle. <laughs> Pretty easy puzzle, Logan. <laughs> oh yeah. All yeah. I had to do was kill them. Yep. <laughs> Pretty easy. Order of the sword members come in, just look at you. It's like I can explain. <laughs> we have so uh, many things to explain. <laughs> do we though? I don't uh, need to know. I can explain. Oh, there I go. <laughs> Bye, fucker. Uh -oh. You see the lights all dim and go out one by one. Arden. Oh, crap. <laughs> Leaving a dim light. You then hear a growling sound coming from the lounge area. As you Gosh. do, the lights begin to flicker back on. As, as you look <laughs> down it, you see the shadowy form of something large. Large enough to take up most of the hallway leading up to you, slowly stalking down the hallway. In <sighs> response, up. can I use the just light my glaive on fire, just you to do. give myself some light? Go ahead, do it. <laughs> yeah. You look towards uh, it. You ignite it. You see the shadowy figure of something that you can't quite make out. As you look towards it, as it walks towards you, a bestial form, s sauntering in your direction. Gino. 
Oh. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> <What up? laughs> Gino, you find yourself appearing near one of the entrances to the area. One second you were looking at Arden, the next, you were over there. Emmanuel! You find yourself one second looking at Arden, <laughs> the next second being at the end of the boring hallway. <laughs> no! Theo, you find you find yourself near the entrance down the hallway at the uh, front of the building, standing in front of the doors. Nicolo, you find yourself once again standing inside the apparatus you were scanned in. Nothing is locked <laughs> or anything, but you find yourself once again in that space. Did I ever even really leave? <laughs> <laughs> and Nicolo, or not Nicolo, sorry, Marley, you find yourself popping in uh, at the base of the ladder where you guys climb down from the uh, from the top of the roof. Ooh. As this happens, each of you hear this guttural sound echoing through the corridors of this place. Any soldiers who would have been there before are gone. Hey, we did it. Help! With, you, with each of you, <laughs> you hear a resonating help <laughs> echoing through the area. And with that, with that moment of you accepting this being split up and all being in different areas within, I think we're going to call uh, game for today. <laughs> yeah, no! I know what the fuck I'm, that is next time. I'm glad it's me who's with this thing <laughs> and not like Marty Lair. <laughs> Marile, you seduce. <laughs> seduce the beast. <laughs> Diggle your hips at it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. My ah. goddess test, don't wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> it oh. Points at the beast. I want to see you jiggle. <laughs> I want to see you jiggle, jiggle, and fold. I love, I, I love that Emmanuel is back in the fucking room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Screaming to the heavens. It's so good. The doors locked from the outside. He's like, why? God. <laughs> I love it. It's just like it's like they put me in the area that's like you know the most like obvious for me. It's like, oh man, that's that's freaking traumatizing. Whatever. You'd expect the room that is that like you're in to be Geno's, but it's like no, you fucking hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Oh no. Hold on. Fantasy Everything Grounds crashed. Everything's crashing. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> we're, we're I, developing. Can't op I can't <laughs> open Discord. Everything's oh, crashing. No. Oh my god. Your computer is just oh, dying. No. Everything. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. That was perfect Aiden. timing. <laughs> Every. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Couldn't no. have been a better place to fucking do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh my god. Who quite? That was too perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it was timed way too well. Uh, oh, so good. But I guess good time to end game since A yeah, has ceased no, to definitely. exist. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Anya. Oh, no. <laughs> and then just screaming and call <laughs> chat. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. I'm glad it wasn't right about the, the fucking the the goddess statue. If we just touch it, we just fucking go in immediately. Yeah. Had to be all of you. Uh, and I had to mm -hmm. I had to see which of you was gonna be the one that stayed there to fight the thing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> have fun, Arden. Hey, <laughs> man, there were worse options for this person, for the person to be in this room. <laughs> what do you think's at the end of that hallway, Arden? Something probably friendly, and and he just wants to give for me a, a second. Hug. I thought that like the whole solidarity thing meant that like there was gonna be something like of us there, so I was immediately thinking Bastet. <laughs> it is literally Fenrir. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's just imagine having to fight like super fucking big Bastet. <laughs> Can you post the um the fucking goddess speech thing in the chat so I can write it in notes? Uh yeah, it was just um fucking 
uh, get to get to bed. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> get to bed today. Get Think I'm, uh, good oh, job well. on good job on playing on playing that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was legitimately just like uh, uh. Agnes or <laughs> Angus or what, yeah. what's Angus. Agnes. 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 Um, okay. Be I I legitimately. <laughs> I legitimately was just like having Nicolo just like this is the most uncomfortable person I've ever been around. <laughs> My name is Doctor. So welcome I, back, Aiden. I, en uh, I enjoy him. I I hope that I've <laughs> done his DMC4 appearance any kind of credit. And, and like as soon as it's just like push Marla off, like don't fucking don't fucking kill you. I enjoy do him it. as a character is how over like all over the place his energy is in DMC4. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. he's very fun. He's very calm and collected one moment, and then panicky and screamy the next. And he's very—he's a very when he's in control, he's very different than if anything happens. <clears throat> like he's so reactive. Whenever we were thinking that Emmanuel was gonna push the button, like at the end there, like when he was doing the cat stuff, like I was sitting there like I—I I would be fine with that because right before that, whenever we were doing the the stuff with us and like me looking over Mars, like. Marile, why don't you go find Emmanuel? It's just like basically just going like, have him turn the thing, have him push the thing, have him push the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cat. Hayden, no. are you alive? Yeah. Hayden, what happened? I don't know. Everything exploded. <laughs> You're, you I died at the perfect yeah, time. Right. I did. I, can't, I was like restarting my computer. I'm like, this couldn't have happened at a better moment in the stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was best, like, thank you the for waiting. As well. was very, you were like, everything's <laughs> crashing. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that good, dude. I'm just mm -hmm. so talented. Oh. Yeah. No, but like it's my so screens funny. just like turned black and then Fantasy Ground stopped responding and I couldn't open Discord and every it all just kind of exploded. So I rebooted my computer. Yeah. That yeah. Was good. No, I, don't I totally know get that. My fuck. my background right now, my my freaking um my desktop as well as all the things on my desktop are pure black right now. What the uh, fuck? Because whenever because whenever I shut down. The only thing that was still available to me was my Steam page, so I just turned it back on. But yeah, my entire uh, my entire uh, Windows, I believe, crashed because my computer is wanting to kill itself. I see. Ah. <laughs> what is, what is an, happening? Hopefully, I'll have a better one next week. Hopefully, <laughs> that'd be cool. Alrighty, <laughs> people at home, I do believe that's where we're gonna cut off the YouTube side. Mm -hmm. So we will see you what? guys in two weeks. Uh, we should. Nothing should stop us this time, unless I get COVID again or something. Are we gonna be here next week for princes as Don't well? Advise. Yes, we have princes next week. I didn't know if I was okay, going cool. to cons all. Oh yeah, Anna, I didn't mention it to you, but there was a possibility I may have had to go to AX, and that would have canceled this game. Uh. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad we didn't. Same. I wish everyone going to AX a good time, but in my current state, I'm very glad I'm not being sent there. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Prince is on my birthday. Maybe Aaron will actually give me an advantage. <laughs> Maybe we'll gain more than two experience. <laughs> Maybe you'll give us all 7,000 points of experience. Oh, that'd be great, actually. Aaron, that'd be a great present. If you all leveled right. up the entire party, I'd be so happy. That'd be so cool. <laughs> that'd be really cool of you. I, I would love that. would be a great birthday present. <laughs> How are we all seven having level. killed a Kraken? <laughs> all right. Goodbye, YouTube. We'll see you Goodbye, guys YouTube. on. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye. Beef. <laughs> <laughs>